Hello, hello. Happy Saturday, everybody. Or whatever day you might be like re-watching this uh, VOD on. The only peas permitted in the salvage yard are profit, processor, and potassium trifluoromethane sulfonate. Welcome back to Hard Space Shipbreaker. My name is Volkata, and uh, be here. I'm trying to remember to oh. wires are tangled up. Give me a sec. There we go. All right. Yeah. Sounds all right. Very good. Welcome back, guys. Good to see you. Yeah, I posted. Is it such a rare event these days? But I posted the this live stream a little late. I wasn't sure we were doing hard space this weekend. Yeah, wires do always go from thing. But somehow wires sitting in uh, on the ground managed to tangle themselves up anyway. Uh, yeah, as of late last night, I wasn't positive we were doing hard space. We were going to stream. It was just I was still working on a uh, on a uh, satisfactory project that I was considering streaming. <laughs> that's that's right, uh, Gavin. Wires floating around, floating around in space, and then yet somehow they're managing to tangle themselves up. <clears throat> I was up a little late last night working on that, working on my uh, next episode for Satisfactory. You no, know, I just noticed something. Somehow, I never, it never stuck out to me before. Which is uh, over here on the right. I know my my camera's partially covering it. Let me uh do my webcam real quick. Over on the right, this this gigantic wrench. We find wrenches floating in uh you know not very often, but every now and then we find interactable wrenches. Or wrenches that we can throw into the furnace. Floating in the uh chips. And I don't remember them being that large. I always remember them being like normal hand size. And, uh. Arr. That's gigantic. That's like. That's like three feet, three and a half feet long. <laughs> that's, a, that's a heck of a wrench. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, really. I mean, I I guess I'm not surprised that we'd have that large of a tool for in space, you know, first of all, being able to manipulate things with your hands in a suit, plus, you know, we're dealing with very large machines. But it's just, you know, when we see them in a ship, they don't look you know, even remotely that large. And so I just, for some reason, I just noticed it out of the car of my eye, and it really stuck out to me. That that's gigantic. I never really pay attention to our uh, the fact that our stickers show up on our tools on the wall too. I was thinking about as curious between streams as to how many mini me's we're up to because we still have not failed the mini me a ship in this stream. Every one of our ships, except for obviously the the event ship. Uh, has been a mini me. We need to have like an extra, extra glowy, um, extra glowy version of this. Be able to upgrade it again. So we have eighteen holographic mini me's. Very nice. Uh, stick our tools before we go out for the day. Mm 
you know, what's what's within our within our uh, well, you know what? Well, let's first let's see that's what we're gonna do because I think we're probably just gonna start off with a mackerel. Oh yeah, glow in the dark would be awesome. Although they'd they'd, they'd be, probably be like radiated, right? They'd, they'd be like the space version of it. There's just a little bit of uranium mixed into the sticker. Radioactive. This is why it glows. <laughs> so yeah, unfortunately, uh, you know, we did our we did our our quick test mackerel at the end of last stream, just to see whether or not we could shut off the fuel valves without power. Uh, and that mackerel had an unclaimed hard drive. I mean, we're not really keeping track of the hard drives, but still. It was it was a little tough to to let it go, <laughs> and it didn't save it because we we abandoned because we were just using that test. Unfortunately, that one's not available to us. I think we're going to warm up with a mackerel. Uh, today we're definitely going to do a uh, Atlas Nomad, right? The middle one, I think. Yeah, because the scouts the the uh, the they're a little one. So uh, we're going to do a Nomad. Because last stream we wanted to take a little closer look at the back structure and and how much material is mixed material on it based on a converse, uh, a comment from a viewer, and uh, we took the wrong ship. <laughs> so uh, we're definitely going to do one of these today. Like you know what? Since we already won there at Hazard Nine, let's just start with it instead of the mackerel. We can pick any mackerel. We need to make sure we need to actually have one of these available to us. And uh, the Atlas is a good warm-up ship. But we're definitely also going to do uh, a Javelin tanker. Or heavy cargo. Right. Because now that we saw that they have a, a new new layout to them, which was really cool. It was really fun to do it. Uh, I want to do some more of those. Plus, we want to work on our, our first round strategy for uh, for those. So I'm gonna I'm gonna disassemble this one piece at a time because these these two part arrays sometimes the antenna gets broken mysteriously when I grab the bottom part first. So I'm trying to remember to to start grabbing these individually. It was a thing that I expected not to happen anymore after 1.0 because they made parts more resilient, but we've we've broken them since, and uh, every time it happens, I, I kind of kick myself for doing it because I'm like, I know that can happen. All right, there we go. I'm gonna try to make it policy to remember to always remove that one piece at a time. Yeah, there goes the rail gate. It used to be a special thing when it would happen rarely. Now it happens every shift. Probably, probably just means that there's a lot more, uh, a lot more business. That much more traffic. Drifting? Where, where is it drifting off to? Oh, yeah, you're right. It didn't go where it was supposed to go. Nice catch. What is? What is drag it all the way across? Processing valuable object. Oh yeah, just drag your buddy around the uh, edge. There you go. <clears throat> Good catch. Oh, 
Oh. Okay. Maybe we didn't want that one anyway. I guess that nudged the, uh, just that little bit of the edge there. Alright, we're not gonna let you drift off. We're just gonna... I didn't cut the, uh... I don't think I cut that one. About to find out. I guess I did. Yeah, I did. That's why I was never that good at pool. I understand the geometry, but I could never control the cue ball. I was always too afraid to that I was gonna dig the cue into the into the felt of a of a pool table. So I never applying credit to account. Never got over that. I am feeling slow today. That's why we do warm up ships. Got to, uh, got to see someone get put in the back of a squad car today. I don't know what he was, what happened. It was when I was at the, uh, at the, uh, gas station picking up my, uh, refill. There was a pickup truck missing its front end <laughs> and, uh, some, some guy being Helped into a squad car with his hands cuffed. Definitely some story there. That was the excitement for my day. Oh man, there's fire everywhere! In fact, I wasn't even sure I was going to make it back home in time for uh, to start the stream. Because the, the police cars kind of blocked me in to my parking space. My like, guys, I need to leave. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I had to gingerly reverse weave my car through through the police cars and the police men walking around them and then all the other cars that were trying to come in and leave the, the gas station who couldn't couldn't be patient enough to let someone who clearly needed to get their car out of the out of a very tight spot surrounded by cop cars I don't feel good about the angle on that one. Yeah, yeah there it goes. Trying to, trying to pull it. Trying to pull it. Yeah, we know your tricks. Oh, yeah, we know your tricks. We're not falling for that. See, that looked like it should have clearly made it on its own. If we had not babysat it, that would be on its way into the furnace right now. Now it doesn't want to go into the processor at all. Got it. Being a big baby. No, I don't want to go. I just want to get this away so I can easily cut this out. Look, look at that thing. Seriously. Applying credit. 
evidence. Switch while we're flying by. Processing object. Applying credit to account. Oh, it's uh, the Hanzo Freight. Like all the green. Um. Did we not already pull a switch on this one? I thought we had done all the engines already. I am really distracted. No, we definitely did not get this one. Where is my mind? My help are also pre tether. Ring of fire, the ring of fire. Oh, missed it. Cancel these tethers and get these guys before we forget about him all the way up until the end of the run, like usual. And pull that a long way so it has room to uh, to get far enough away from those two to actually pull them, give them some momentum. Salvage secured. Account credit. Uh, five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter. Other supplies dropping. It'll tap there. Yeah, we know where you're going to try to go. Ain't fooling anybody. going where it's supposed to go. That seems to be the theme of this ship. Not going where it's supposed to go. Hopefully both of those lights actually made it in because they just kind of looked like they evaporated when I shot them. Okay, right, we can't pull this one yet because it has the wings in the way. All right. Now so we can flip this around. It'll be a weird angle for this one. We'll try it anyway. We don't normally pull them from the sides. But I just kind of want to get them out of the way right now. Before we go inside. And let's actually use up my last two tethers. Caution. Tethers depleted. Race over here while those things probably try to get sucked into the furnace. Thank you for your Tethers restored. Get in there. All right, we're gonna begrudgingly call those. <laughs> I want to get in here and get this thing depressurized before the end of the shift. Salvage accepted. Okay, yeah, it was gone. That one should at least be safe to not go in the furnace. Airlock 
pressurizing. E hard drive. We have a working regulator in the front. Broken there. Processing. Credits deposited. Oh, we got downstairs. All right, so downstairs is part of the back. It wraps around. Yeah. Oh, I don't think there'll be a regular down here. I think this is going to be in the back. Ooh, free fuel. Like, two free fuels. Nice. All right, Cutter. Time to wrap it up, okay? One minute left. Working regulator. All right, so I think what we're going to try to do is um, yeah, close all this off. Use that regulator, break our way out of the ship, come back in through the airlock that we took the door handle off of already. So in theory, pressing this should not affect those inner cabins. Air pressure level decreasing. Oh, oh, we're out of time. I wanted to have access from the outside. No, no, this is bad. <sighs> I depressurized that chamber and didn't have time to vacate it to space. I should have ran for the button. <laughs> I did not... The last couple of minutes just went away so fast on us. Thought we had time. Well, it, it's... I hit the I hit the switch, so the outer door probably is open now. So yeah, we, we should be able this to go into it, and probably now the doors will work independently. Because we have one side of the airlock is depressurized, the other side is pressurized. I wanted to cut that floor out, go outside and then come back in and go through the other area. And not have to deal with that door again. Welcome, Nicola. Welcome, welcome from the UK. You can join us. How are things? Oh, yeah, it completely opened itself. How are things in the UK? So is that, that door better still work. Because we didn't secure anything in that chamber with the expectation of going in through the airlock. You, you're not attached to anything. Oh, the engine is still in the way. We haven't moved it, so it's bouncing off of it. Okay, that, that wouldn't have worked real well anyway. Let's take care of the ceiling. It's dead. Yeah, exactly, Gavin. Yeah, we're starting with the Nomad for the uh, for looking at the at the mixed. So I knew some of these ships had some weird mixed uh, materials on them, and I was wasn't sure if they had fixed that or changed that with 1.0, and I don't think they did. Like right there is the nano. See, nano carbon that says furnace. Which doesn't make any sense, right? Nanocarbon should be a processor item. And that's, it, it, to the point, that's what we're losing on this ship. It's saying we're losing nanocarbon even though we're going to the processor because that is attached to this. Ooh, a lot more fuel. Man, this thing is full of fuel.
So that that's our culprit right there. Uh, processor, furnace. We've already... Okay, that's all right. Yeah. Yeah, if I want to whiff it some of that stale O2, I can, uh, I can get some free O2. Uh, things are going. Things are going. About the most generic response I can give. Uh, for for those who uh, were around for the last couple of the satisfactory live streams, where we worked on the circuit board facility, of course. Uh, Last week, the actual episode that encompassed all that work came out, and um, YouTube was generous. It decided to actually put that video in front of people, and it took off, which was awesome. It was really awesome. We got a bunch of new subscribers ton of views and a bunch of new subscribers. Phenomenal. Uh, I think we're going to leave that for now. I'm going to get inside. So that was exciting. You know, the, as a small time YouTuber, it's always great to see you know, your, your work get some visibility. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Yeah, as far as using demo charges to, or exactly, I mean, if we if we use demo charges to free up that nanocarbon, I, with, we'd just end up vaporizing it. Pressurizing. It's a it's a lose lose situation, right? Because either we damage it or we damage the stuff it's holding on to and lose the value from that. We don't need you coming off the wall on your own. There's nothing threatening to come at us. It's a glass bottle. <laughs> Air pressure level decreasing. But anyway, that was that was exciting for me this week. You know, normally, uh, normally my satisfactory episodes. They have, a, they have a steady view rate. Oh, I think they're really shaking. Um, but after after a after a day of it uh, being released, the view count went went. <laughs> And I don't, I don't know how it got its exposure. Uh, didn't do anything different, but uh, but it did, and uh, subscribers started pouring in. So that was really good. That was another reason why I was really hesitant to do a heart space episode today or a live stream. Kind of wanted to do a, a satisfactory one because we got all the new satisfactory subscribers. Salvage deposit secured. But credits awarded. I'm a little too far into the next episode. I don't think there would have been enough stuff to do really to, to do a, a, a live stream for it. All right. Let's see what else do we need? We need to cut the walls away so we can get rid of those side flaps. Uh, get access to the engines. Plus, I also wanted to play some part space. That was also a factor. I always got to be careful on getting that piece because that right there can be cut. So we've got to be mindful of the angle of that cut. Which is why I often use a stinger on this 
that's right there. reason to bother using a tether there. I don't think there's anything on here. It's interesting they use this is a the same housing they use for the the push pads on the uh, rust about tug. Oh no we're running low on fuel whatever will we do? Yoink. Fuel object contact. Transferring credits. Okay, you don't go to the same place as the piece of material that you're sitting on. Remember, I wanted to I wanted to bring the music back up just a little bit. I wanted to be in the background, but I want to bring it up, bring it up a little bit. Valuable object accepted for processing. I was responding to a comment that someone made the other day and it made me go back and watch one of my old really old um, how-to tutorials and the music was a lot louder in that video it's fine I mean it, it fit in just fine but hearing it again reminded me that I hadn't really we've had the, the audio turn the, the music turned down for so long that I don't really hear it it made me kind of miss it. I thought, you know what, next time we play, we need to turn the music up just a little bit so we can... Hear it again. Yeah, see, five points was enough. Five I can hear it playing well. Cutter. You know what you're doing? Okay. Uh, I want to get just this big one out of the way. Processing valuable object. Credit okay, awarded. I don't need this Salvage one's an easy straight shot. Applying credit. I say that and then I don't do a very good job of shooting it. <laughs> and there's a cut. I did. Uh, you, Jake, you're saying they were going to they were going to make some of the cut points covered with fire resistive material. I don't remember that being a. I remember early on they made a big deal of uh, coolant being able to counter fire or be used as you know to help cut things, and they basically just completely gave up on that. I mean, obviously, at the last moment, they introduced the uh, the Atlas, which is the only time they gave us a practical use for the coolant, you know, by, you know, giving us the option to chill the engines before cutting them out. But early on, that was 
that was a big thing. I think I was even, you know, getting the tooltips and everything. Yeah. Use use coolant to put out fires and this and that. Like there was never a reason at all, and there was never a good way to do it because you know the only real coolant we had access to was the uh, the gigantic canisters that we needed to turn to the barge. So it was there was never a practical application to that. I appreciate that they came up with you know the, the engine design for the Atlas. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit uh, transferred. And found a use for that gimmick, but it was clearly a thing they wanted early on and just it never materialized. Okay. Uh, we need to get this free. Man, that wall's got so much stuff on. So does that one. Pill everywhere. I don't want to take that wall away until we flip it. But we can't flip it until we have the engine out of the way. Alright. I wonder if we can. Let's let's think about this. Um, you're not attached, so you can just hang out over here. We need a better way of dealing with this wall segment and all of its contents. Let's see. Can we... down here. Okay, it's light enough to move. Let's spin it. And start grabbing material like we would in anything else. Ship's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. That makes things much easier. And I do believe we got everything out of that. Just double check. Yeah, I like that. I like that much better. Instead of always trying to drag stuff out and into the inner chamber and, you know getting stuck on these bars and all that stuff. Because I don't want to punch it out right now when we only got 15 seconds left. We'll wait till next shift to the other side. And we're definitely not going to tether the, the engine housings. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I, uh, I mean, that sounds like something they would have tried doing, but I don't remember running into that. Was that before version uh, 0 0.4? Do you remember? I don't know, did you did you did you have to run into it, or did you just run into it on the forums? I don't. I, I started at 0 0.4. Good morning, ship and that player. wasn't a thing by then. Please enjoy the following inspirational message. Success is not the key to happiness. I also missed um, success. If you when they you had do, keys you will be successful. to to unlock. I think unlock the uh, reactor. That they had re they removed that just before I started playing, and I don't feel like I missed out. <laughs> It, based on the description of the whole key system, it sounds like it was a it was a good, a positive change to uh, to remove that. Well, I think you were supposed to be able to buy them, right, from the Master Jack. I think that was the scheme. And then it was seen as just mostly pointless. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. You're attached to something heavier. Salvage 
salvage secured. Account credit applied. Yeah, it seemed like an overly convoluted system that yeah, I think that they probably secured. were wise to Credits remove. Awarded. Do with all of these canisters. Just that, I guess. Just let them drift in space. Supposed to. You go to where you're supposed to. Looks like he got tired of going. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. All right, that's safe. Is there a guy in our corner of our eye? That's Credit good. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Probably should remove the reactor before we send this to the barge or to the processor. Rewards assigned. A little bit more casual than my usual uh, push there, but... It seemed like that guy missed his mark. That is a processor item, all right. I don't know that it mattered if the plate was a processor item or not, because I don't think we could have removed it from there anyway. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Ooh. Wow, I, life just flashed before my eyes. We almost went straight into the furnace. Yeah, I, I, I clearly, I clearly did not grapple what I was aiming for. Didn't look like it either. It looked like I, I hit what I was aiming for, but uh, that sure didn't act like it. I'd like to watch the replay on that because it, it, on my screen, it looked like my beam hit the thing I was aiming for, which obviously was that floating plate. But I must have just been a pixel off or something. I didn't feel like I was even close to missing it. It's a it's a good thing that I was only trying to give it a quick nudge instead of trying to, you know, hard fire it because if I'd put any more power behind that, we would have splatted. 
don't think I need to remove that, do I? Oh, that's, yeah, that's furnace. Maybe I do. I mean, we got a lot of momentum there, and that was... I mean, I just barely tapped the, the grappler. I mean, I grabbed the floor, the, the, the far wall and started to reel myself as soon as I started to move, but even then, you, you saw we still took uh, helmet damage. You know, we probably should get this cargo off the back. So if I'd been going any faster, that, that would have been all she wrote. A full cargo set. Is that going to be enough? It is. I don't think they normally have four cargo pieces on them. Don't move the ship. Alright, there we go. So this is all processor. And we can remove this, right? If we wanted to. That's still not going to give us any options for removing the furnace pieces. We don't normally dismantle this, but we're going to do it just for uh, inspection purposes. Yeah, there's nothing that's cuttable. Yeah, it, I, I thought that they would fix this in 1.0, and I'm kind of surprised they didn't. Salvage deposit confirmed. I mean, I don't really mind that there are mixed material parts from time to time. I mean, it's more realistic. We shouldn't be able to perfect salvage a, a gigantic ship. You know, there's no, there's no 100% recycling. But still, the inconsistency of nanocarbon that goes to the, the furnace, that's kind of what bugs me. That's what makes me feel like that's not meant to be. I don't think it's the only place that we have nanocarbon that goes to the furnace. I know we've seen nanocarbon elsewhere that does it as well, so it's not 100% inconsistent. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. We have. Okay, yeah, we don't. We don't need to open any more doors. I don't think. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Now we need it off the bottom. No lights. Oh, wrong key. Oh, another wrong button. I need to unbind the the other. Five minutes left in this. The other have uh, okay. visor key because I don't use that normally. Salvage deposit registered. Credited. That way, if I hit the wrong button, nothing happens. Salvage secured. Applying credit. I really like shooting the the. Uh, this is a flick. A good shot. I like shooting the tethered bins down. Something about it. it's like firing a javelin through a tunnel and then watching it pull the other one with it. Salvage Transferring credits. Salvage 
Welcome, Ad uh, Admiral Obvious. Uh, everything is in pursuit of a mini me. We are we are a hundred percent mini me. We do not have single failed ship. It is the guiding goal. Perfection at all terms. All turns. All right, there we go. I think we got everything out of. Yeah, that we need to send down the down the hole. Let's fire one more thing down. And bang it off the side. <laughs> if it had been before this version, that would have broken. I want to get this out of here. Back up a little bit. I don't like the red line that was giving me. So I'm gonna... Go to the stinger. Then finish my thought. After I'm already done doing it. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Yeah, like with the the glass, the glass has evolved. But I think that the yeah, I think you're right. The the, um, the cockpit, the cockpits on the javelin, the sidecars. Yeah, those the 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 glass canopies on those were weird originally. I know they've changed. I think a couple of times where they were supposed to go, but we're used to. It used to be a nanocarbon and glass, right? Because we used to have to cut the glass out of each individual panel. It was such a pain. I had forgotten all about that. I mean, every time I send one of those into the into the furnace as one unit, I'm always reminded that it's easier than it used to be. But I. Uh, I don't think I really think about why it's easier now. It's because we used to have to keep cutting. Like cut that little piece, cut that little piece, and... That two pieces? Salvage yes. Well, <laughs> I've already removed one, so... There's one minute left till the end of the shift. Salvage complete. Applying credits Probably could have finished at this shift, but that's all right. Applying credit. Let's have a, a short shift after this. Gonna make it? There you go. Oh yeah, we easily. If I'd been focusing, definitely could have done it this shift. I think, I think it's everything. It's literally just the whole. Needs to go into the furnace, and that's it. Um, yeah, Nicola. I think what Liquid I think is talking about is is the uh, is the canopies on on the uh, the javelin sidecars. Yeah, there is there is the tiny bit of glass in the gecko that's un that's arguably unrecoverable. Uh, it's too thin to cut out because the width of your beam, if you tr actually tried to cut around it, would just vaporize the entire glass. And it's set in nanocarbon, so unless you want to use four demo charges to cut out the nanocarbon around it, just to throw that little bit of glass into the furnace, you can't recover it. That glass used to be the way we... Uh, 
evacuated all of our uh, all of our geckos. Yeah, yeah, uh, Admiral Roberts. Yeah, I, I, I do kind of miss the microcomputer on the on the, the side of the power generator. I mean, I understand them removing it because it was a little bit tedious and most people didn't know it was there. But that's kind of why I liked it was because it was one of those like pro secrets. You know, it's like a veteran knows it's there, and uh, it's something that someone who's you know, people who, people who are the kind of people who just barge everything and forget about the rest of the ship don't catch details like that. So it was always like our shared secret that that was there. So I kind of miss it for that reason, but I, I understand that. You know, probably the logic behind removing it. Yeah, we literally had everything. All we had to do was just throw this Hulk into the, into the furnace. But no scrap left behind. Get out of the way. Uh, so Nickel, uh, Nickel, yeah, the on the um, and we'll be doing a javelin here in a little bit. But the the big canopies on the front of the cockpit of the sidecars of the javelins have large glass frames in them. And the structure around it was nanocarbon. It wasn't a furnace item. And so you could spend a, a fair amount of time going through and cutting each individual panel out. Because the glass panels were large enough to be able to cut out. But unlike the mackerel, you couldn't just zip, 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 zip and take the whole glass out. You had to take each individual panel out one at a time. It was tedious. <laughs> Which is why it was a positive change to turn the, uh, the nanocarbon frame into an aluminum frame. So that we no longer had to cut it all out. The whole thing goes to the furnace now. And glass has always been a, you know, unex kind of a unexpectedly large value item in this game. And it, that's never changed, right? I mean, if you, if you don't cut the glass out on a mackerel, for example, it, it's a real impact. Why is this thing just not wanting to go in? It's trying to justify that it's... Sticking around for another, another shift. Like, look, you couldn't have gotten me in that fast. Yes, we could have. All right. Make sure nothing missed the barge. No stray stuff. Lost a door. Don't care. Yeah, it looks like we got most of our gray. Material I think we already had our mini-me last shift. Take some stale air. Nine nine point five percent. Not a bad start. We will never attempt to get 100% on this. Because I refuse to go through and pluck all those little button lights off of everything. Hello, ship breaker. Overnight genetic backup complete. Pattern deviation nominal. Have a good day. Plus, the only, only way I know of getting 100% requires uh, exploiting bugs. Alright. 
our equipment look like. Ah, yeah, sure, fine. Guess we can give it that three percent. There, there are specific ships that you can get to 100% on, but you have to exploit uh, some cutting loopholes with objects on the barge. And uh, I think like item, sha like item shaving or something like that, because you can shave... You can shave material and not get it counted against you in, in micro cuts. Uh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not 100 on what the. I know I've read about it from people who have done it, but I've never seen anyone do it legit. You know, they've always had to exploit some kind of some kind of loophole. Which is fine. I mean, you know, they accomplished the, the they set out for a goal that's otherwise unaccomplishable. So, um. <laughs> yeah, Exo Exolab Mackerel, uh, Ghost. That that would be fun, right? No. <laughs> yeah, back to back ghosts. They're they're gathering up. All right. Um. I want to do a macro, but I don't think I want to do a macro back to back. You know, or, or small ship, small ship. So we want, of course, we want a heavy cargo javelin, which we could do that one. I just heard it. I mean, I'm still feeling like I'm, I'm loosening up still. But I don't think I want to loosen up anymore on a gecko salvage runner. Although, we have only done, like, two salvage runners, I think, and we're still missing posters. So we kind of have to examine, is it, are, are we avoiding a ship not realizing it, and maybe the posters we're looking for are in that ship type. So maybe we should do a gecko salvage runner. No, let's do it. We've only done, I think I said, like, maybe two of them. They're not as bad as they used to be. And we only get better by doing it. That's part of the problem is we're not refining our, our salvage runner strategy because we're not doing them. Plus, I always love being a gecko. Uh, the 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 lady I I meant to between streams I meant to go back and review my old footage. Um, there's a lady and there's a union poster that I know of. I mean, honestly, it wouldn't take me time uh, much time to find them. I mean, find out what they are. Uh, I assume that if I just loaded up. My last VOD for my for the the last stream before 1.0. Uh, at some point, I would look around, you know, just have to go to between shifts in the VOD. At some point, I'd look around the room, and I just need to see my car my character look around the room one time to see what posters I had on the wall. I'm pretty sure we had the Union poster on the wall, and I know we had the second woman. That, that wasn't me flying. That was the uh, door handle throwing me. And this ship has seen better days. Look at the paint job on it. I mean, it is a salvage runner. So it kind of kind of makes sense for it to be all scratched up. I'm guessing that's intentional. Ooh, I don't like you going to that angle. 
you know, stopping around, picking up straight parts and things like that are gonna, it's gonna bang on to stuff. So, Valuable actually kind of a nice deposited. detail. Credit deposited. But uh, it looks like it has not seen any, I mean, it, it, that looks like rust. Can things even rust in space? Doesn't it, re doesn't it require oxygen for, for rust? That distinctly looks like rust to me. Yeah, that's, that's definitely, it's gotta be rust. Look at that. What have they been doing with this ship to get it to rust in space? I wonder if they can go planet side. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I mean, maybe they land? I don't, I mean, a lot of times I don't feel like these... I don't feel like these are typically meant to go on the ground. None of them have landing gear on them. Yeah, also can okay, nanocarbon rust. That's another good point. I mean, yeah, I mean, water and iron and asteroids, but I, I still would think that it requires oxygen. So I would be surprised. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I would have to dig deeper into the lore. I, I don't know whether or not these ever go plant. So, I mean, I assume that they're capable of entering atmospheres. But it's not like an atlas, or it's not like a, 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 a salvage runner would just be hanging out in the atmosphere. I mean, potentially, obviously, it could land and pick up salvage off the ground. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Hey, puppy! So, last time we grabbed a puppy poster, we did it from a far corner, and it looked like we were shaking his paw. So we're going to try, try again, pet the puppy from... The computer's in my way. Pet the puppy! There we go! We shake his little paw. pet <laughs> okay a broken uh, broken regulator there working regulator there working there we don't need that to come off the wall we're just gonna assume that we're gonna probably go from there let's see if we can do a exterior to interior that one's broke let's get rid of that. And I didn't check when we were in the back to see if they had a working regular there. Okay, working regulator. Yeah, so exactly, yeah. We're, so what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to do what we were, we were doing with the Atlas. And normally I put this in the side room. We have a working regular in the back, so we're going to... We're going to hope that this ship honors the fact that the interior should not be leaking to the exterior in the front. Some of these ships do not honor properly the, the barriers. But we're going to cut our way out to space. Air pressure level decreasing. Come back into the airlock. Now open. Guess we don't need to cut our way through the airlock. <laughs> we'll just we'll just fly in. Uh, 
<laughs> oh, the frames. No regulator in there. Hey, another puppy. We only pet one puppy per, though. But those, those are, uh... Ah! I don't think I've ever seen a regulator in here. Huh. You know, we could cut ourselves out through this wall. Uh, I'm not going to. Uh, there was, uh, there might have been a loose cry cryo barrel in the, um, in the back. There was a number of loose barrels, but we used a regulator to depressurize, so it's no longer a, a danger. Oh, they are all over the place. We're going to use, do our usual method of walking the rooms. And an uh, act of over, over caution, over abundance of caution. While we're here, we're going to we're going to pre pre remove all this stuff. Oh no 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 no! You stay there. Everything except for the big console. That's why we don't have to come back in here. We know we're going to cut this room out. That should take care of for that room. Leave all that free floating stuff safely locked away. Hey Cutter, five minutes left in this ship. All right. Oh, come back here. No, no flying around banging up stuff. All right, that should be the entire ship. Excellent. Four minutes left in the shift and we can start salvaging. <laughs> I know that we don't do this as quick and efficiently as we could, but safety, safety first, not safety third. You know, it's contrary to the Link's motto. There we go. That's all we cared about. We want to get ourselves some way out and in back into the ship from the outside. Uh, I'm not liking the red line I'm getting on that one. Stinger. That one looks better. I'm gonna go after that. I'll we'll just let it go.
You know, we, we didn't even check to see if there was anything behind the, uh, in the back behind the reactor, but since we were able to use a regulator, it didn't really matter. It still feels weird having regulators. I mean, I... I'm fine with it, just it still feels weird. And I, mean, I guess it, I'm not surprised it feels weird, because I, when I was posting the uh, for the stream, it occurred to me that this is only episode 13 of our run through. It doesn't seem like it's only been 13 episodes. Because, you know, I mean, we did like 33 or 34 of the previous stream just to get out of debt. And, you know, we, we beat this for such a long time ago because of the changes. It doesn't feel like it's only been 13 13 streams. We would only we would only be a third of the way through our, our career if it was under the previous uh, version. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Speaking of which, I am increasingly considering doing doing the reset so that we can, you know, actually work our way through and actually work ourselves out of debt without taking the industrial action. I think that would be pretty satisfying. Plus, we'd get to listen to Weaver and Hal argue with each other for, for quite some time. Which I imagine would be pretty entertaining. I, I don't mind Dee Dee being our supervisor. But... Salvage accepted. Credit applied. It wouldn't be bad to have Weaver back. Zero percent. Very nice. Look, no red. No red on a salvage runner. Morning ship breaker. Lynx mandates a maximum of no eight yet. hours of sleep. Any extra sleep time will be docked from the next pay cycle. Yeah, I mean, obviously we'll have some red. We could leave the ship right now and say it's a, per a perfect salvage. <laughs> Quit while we're ahead. Eight tethers. All right. We're waiting for that to get out of our way. Let's cut some more stuff. Uh, I want to get that front away, but I want... Yeah, I want to get that out first. I don't want to cancel that tether yet. Processing valuable object. Awarded. What other quick stuff can we remove? Some more cutting. Looks like we've got a air filter there. There's a very bright light in the back. I think that's a credit drive.
you in yet? Close enough. All right. Let's try to pull this away. How cooperative are you going to be today? Uh, I think the answer is not at all. free. I know that doing this isn't actually helping, but it makes me feel better. Oh! Back my head into the other half. There we go. Now we can turn it and get rid of it. Come on. Thank you all day. Alright, while we wait on that, let's start cutting this out. We have two tethers left. One of them is going to be reserved for pulling this away. Here and waiting for that to move, we can get rid of this too. Fine, we'll use one of the two tethers on you. I need that to be in there before I can use my last one to pull this guy away. I've more or less run out of things to do while I'm waiting on him to go. I got one tether left, so we'll just do this. Alright, he's far enough in. inside. Alright. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Caution. No tethers remaining. Okay, so that's not what I expected to happen. Something is sticking it to the rest of the ship. Welcome to Venditron 9000. Have a nice day. And you know that that radiation housing is going to have something attaching it, too. So we're not going to get inside using this. We're going to try. Uh, nope. I feel like that was not a good angle. Yeah, that's stuck on something, too. We have to go all the way around and back inside. That's annoying. What is causing us trouble? Must be these guys. 
I should have tethered the uh, housing. That's fine. And why is this still not pulling away? I know I didn't miss a... beam. What is holding on to you? Why you no go? Guys, am I missing something here? Um, if I if you split saw the beams, sometimes there's a, a phantom hold when you're trying to trying to completely separate something. I found it to be too unreliable. I think that this is I think this is embedded into the wall. It feels like it's offset a little bit. Oh, I don't know what else to say. Nothing on the inside holding it on. It's 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 attached. If I pulse it, it's just going to throw me backwards. You can see by the the total mass, it still thinks it's attached to the ship, and it shouldn't be. It's just going to throw me back. Just brute force it here. Thinks it's attached somewhere. We'll just cut all its ties. We will not be denied. Deposit accepted for processing. Yeah, he really did not want to let go, for sure. Thanks, Billiards. But, we had a successful de-sleeving of all the junk. Look at all that. Put some a little bit aside there. Pew! Yeah, you're not going to hit all those terminals. Hey, Cutter, you've got five minutes Ooh. left in the shift. Hope you're having fun. I am having fun, DD. This is the best part. Object process. Transferring it. credits. Pew, pew stuff. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credits. That was a pretty good clustering of them there. Handrails had to go off on their own. Oh, we got like a light over here. Yeah. Yeah, that was a good. That was a good grouping. I mean, it gave us a. Gave us a little bit of trouble there to coming free, but it was worth the effort. We don't normally see pipes at that location. I, I say that, but we don't do a whole lot of salvage runners, so...
And we are we are seeing a number of posters in here, which is kind of the thing that we're looking for. <clears throat> we theorize that we haven't been doing the ship that maybe we're missing posters in here. I think that this is the po I think this is the ship where we found our union poster. Because this is the specific configuration I remember was coming in here and finding it on one of these walls on the way to the cockpit. Which is why I always felt like it was a, a gecko that we got it from, but I couldn't remember which which gecko. So I'm going on record as saying I think that we found our original Union poster in a in a salvage runner. That all lines up with my memory. Which is not exciting, because I don't want to keep doing these just looking for posters. <laughs> I mean, I don't mind doing one occasionally. I don't... I don't hate doing salvage runners. But it is my least favorite gecko. Because it's... kind of tedious on stream. To, uh, to have to filter through all the little bits. Doesn't make for exciting content for people to watch. Which is, you know, you guys know that's why we stopped doing Exo Labs back before the uh, before 1.0 came out. Because it wasn't exciting to to sit here and watch someone spend 30 minutes plucking individual pieces of wire cable out of out of all that junk. Um, can we take that all as one piece? I think we could. Uh, the trash gaze. I, I like the trash gazer. Um, it's not too tedious. Processing object. Applying credits to account. The thing I like about the trash gazer is that it, it's it's the most unique of all of the geckos. Its layout is. You know, we apply more or less the same strategy for all the other geckos to each other because of the way the reactor and, uh, and whatnot are related to each other. And the trash gazer has its own unique reactor setup. One minute left, Cutter. Start finishing things up. Alright? It also. It seems like it's, it's become less trashy since 1.0. Like, it it really earned its name in, uh, in 0 0.7. Uh, just, just floating garbage scow. And it feels like they toned down the amount of garbage floating around in it. So much so that I've considered uh, not calling it Trash Gazer anymore, but I like the name so much that I just can't give it up. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Hey, Charmer, welcome back. Good to see you again. Glad you can join us. I understand that you, you know you get busy sometimes. Sometimes you can't make it. Okay, so we have a little bit of red now, partly because we had to surgically remove the the front end because it wouldn't come off. It wouldn't come off the way it was supposed to. But that's all right. That's one of the good things about doing large ships is that. It's a lower percentage of the entire ship for doing cuts. Good morning, ship breaker. Your allocated shift time will be commencing shortly. I'm kind of hoping that we'll see some of our new subscribers today. That the... Um... Oops, wrong button. That we got from last week's uh, satisfactory episode. A bunch of bunch of people discovered my channel and subscribed. They probably should be doing a satisfactory stream right now. 
to bring those people into the live streams, but this is what we wanted to do today. So, hopefully we'll see some of them. Maybe they'll get curious about what this game is. I'll probably look to do a satisfactory live stream next week. No promises. I think next week, we'll, or next, not the episode that will hopefully come out tomorrow. <laughs> I think the, the following one is going to be finally building our high speed connector facility. Hard to call it a facility, a building. The thing that we worked on over the past couple of live streams was a true mega build facility. But I think the next project is going to be high speed connectors. And then probably we're going to need to do more energy. Salvage deposit registered. Maybe Salvage finally get to aluminum processing, which will be for probably a multi episode ordeal. Because setting up aluminum in, uh, in Satisfactory is no joke. So there might be some more opportunities to do some live streams for that game. I don't want to... I know we can shove these large pieces, but I really prefer to use the tethers to make sure they go where they're supposed to go. Especially when they're this far back. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Yeah, okay, so separate. Give it a little love tap in the direction we want it to go. Processor deposit accepted. Put that one over. Oh, we already got that. No loss, we need to cut these beams out anyway. cut this, but we can salvage a little bit of it, so let's do it anyway. Doing that it didn't just burn up. Nope, it didn't. Oh, what are you attached to? <laughs> it's attached to a chair. Little piece of nanocarbon. Or uh, aluminum. Let's see if we can free this up from out here. Nope. We, uh, it's gonna be a... It'll be a bed. No, no, it's not gonna be that one. It's going below it. Alright. I need to find another way back into this ship. That is also stuck. I think we're going to have to go inside and start attaching a bunch of things. I was hoping to get some of these floor pieces out so that we could just start chucking things. But nobody wants to let us in. Alright, that one will get it. Excuse me. Hey, okay, let 
lots of free oxygen. Free fuel, which we're going to actually need here in a moment. I should go ahead and grab it now because I don't think it'll fill up our fuel tank. Nope. These guys might get in the way. We're going to have to remove them anyway because it's on an air filter. While we're here, let's see if we can get this out. Normally we don't get around to these until most of the ship's cut up, but... Already there. With it. For a moment there, I got. I thought we got a achievement for half an O2. I'm like I don't think there's a sticker related to that. Yeah, there's computers on the other side of that. I think nothing wants to come out. Oh yeah, look at that. I'm, I'm glad we didn't get that through the hole because all of these, okay, those beds aren't ready to booby trap us, but these were. Oh, the, uh, the terminal shut off and we took the batteries out. I never realized that, that they were individually powering. You know, typically the entire ship is powered by, you know, just a power, a power cell anywhere on the ship. We're gonna do that. Oh, sail down there, sail down. Sail down. Must have had a big crew. Really well stocked ship. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Where's the last terminal? There it is. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Get out of the way of this. The way those last ones came off. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Salvage goal achieved. Rewards allocated. Applying credit. Lucky I didn't destroy that console just then. Banged it pretty hard on that wall. I don't want to bother taking all these out, but I know we're probably going to end up cutting the ship in half through here, so... I don't want to end up cutting through these. We got a pretty good angle right here. Not fast. That way. Thank you. Got about five minutes left till you're done for the day. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. I think we're gonna cut that floor out. 
Get rid of this spine. Stabilize everybody. It was this right here? Yes, because that is the airlock and we don't need to cut out the airlock. Deposit accepted for processing. It's always full of junk, plus we need to remove that rail guide. It's the full length of the hallway. One good way to remove it is to take the entire floor out. Raw material process. Credits deposited. Oh, there it is! There it is! Applying credit. We found one. It was the it was the ship. Called it. So that's that's three posters we were missing. We're missing the regular version of this. See, I was thinking that the Union poster was the uh, was written over the uh, the radio guy. There's a regular version of this that isn't defaced. So we've been missing three posters, not two. Now we're down to two posters missing. <laughs> that we know of, because we need to have the regular version of that poster. Salvage deposit See, it was really bugging me, because I didn't, I didn't feel like it was a defaced version of the radio one, but I didn't think that we were missing another poster, so the radio one was the only one I could... was the closest I could come to feeling like it was one that, the one that was defaced. Yeah, yeah, so there is there is a regular version of that that isn't defaced. With the Union stuff. And we haven't found it either. Awesome. I mean, awesome in the sense that we found what we're looking for. A little less awesome in the sense that we found out that we have another one that we haven't found. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Salvage secured. Applying credit. All right, we've already pet a, pu a puppy. So that one's getting. We don't want to be greedy on the puppy posters. We we gotta send them to the barge so that other people can have puppy posters too. If we collected all of them, then Salvage then no one else would be able to have them. So I, I'm thinking that we'll probably find the regular one on another uh, salvage runner at some point. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. It's really dangerous to be doing this to a bunch of these in this room because if one of these goes crazy, then they can send them all crazy. Lose a whole room of this stuff. Okay, I'm seeing red on the. Oh, yeah. That doesn't belong there. Salvage deposited. I gotta do that right now because we're below 30 seconds. Nope, 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 nope. Object process. Transferring credit. Be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. Go, 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 go! Oh, that one did not make it. We might have some problems with that second one that's going like a bullet at the barge. That will not be turned on. 
I shouldn't have done that. So if the bottom of the barge, I know they, they, I guess they are supposed to have fixed that to some degree, but the barge won't be turned on. So either, I think one of two things is likely to happen. One, the barge won't be turned on, but there will be a floor now, morning, cutter, nine, three, and it'll break dash, because the barge isn't on. Today's weather report. Clear or the old problem, which was that the floor wasn't there, and now that the thing it was tethered to did get credited, it'll just go flying like a rocket through it into space, and we'll lose it. There it is. There's the poster. We are going to put that poster up just because it's the fact that we couldn't find it. It took us so hard to find it. I like the colorful posters. Um, at least for now. That's up here. I really would like to have... See, that's the one I was thinking it was written over. Even though I didn't really think it was, it was. It was. I knew it was the only one that, if it was over one of them, then that's funny. Like it's right after the Tibber poster, which is what was up there before, and it just it wasn't there. I'd like to have more places for posters because I like the posters. I like the different variety we have. All right. So are we going to lose this as soon as we start? Okay, so there's a, a bottom and it didn't break. Okay, good. They really did fix that. Oof. Account credited. Before they fixed it, that would have been, that would have been gone. We there's no way we would have saved that. Salvage deposit secure. <clears throat> We, you know, we learned a long time ago not to fire things at the barge at the last second. But it's just hard to stop when you're like, oh, I, just, I can get one more thing. <laughs> get one more thing in. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Yeah, they usually aren't just nice round numbers. Salvage secured. Credit you think they'd, they'd round it off uh, because they're paying us, and then they would keep the extra for themselves. Are you caught on? Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Okay. We need next. We have the ECU room. Normally we have the ECU room open by now because there's normally a radiation housing on one's wall. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. I'm going to pre-cut the floor, even though we're not going to deal with them, because we're here. I kind of want to get all the small bits accounted for. Lights, door consoles, and all that stuff. doing salvage secured where am i going credit. it's the second thing that blatantly doesn't belong in the cards that i've sent i'm off my game 
That whole wall came apart because we had to cut up the wall to get the front part out. Credit applied. Oop. Almost sent that into the processor. The door is what goes in there, not pieces around the door. Salvage secured. Account Everything for this applied. room. Yep. Computer room is done. Crew quarters, I believe, is done. The storage room done. Airlock. I was backing up to send that into the furnace. You hang out here, let's see what we need to cut out. Free fuel. Nice. Air kit, too. Ah, med kit. Who needs one of those? Ah, see, there's the giant wrench. See, that doesn't... I mean... I guess that could be as big as it is on the uh, inside. It just For some reason, it never registered to me that it was really that large. I guess that is pretty big. A little bigger than I gave it credit. So much floating junk, I just want to cut this wall out. I think we might just go through and cut all the floors out. And just not worry about it. Because we need in the middle to get the uh, rail guide out. Anyway. And there's ample junk in here. Going through the floor will make it a lot easier. What's the side look like? Uh, yeah, we can do the back. Let's just do the back too. All right. We can do the do the back two on this one. That one we're going to take that whole wall section out. That whole room to make room for the reactor to be pulled. I don't think we actually need to cut all the floor out for that one. Material 
Yeah, having the, having the reactor. Well, you know, <clears throat> having the reactor attached to the uh, air filter, right? Don't aren't there air filters that use uh, like ionized air to to you know, in that thing, right? Uh, air ionizer, clean, air cleaner thingies. So maybe that maybe it's like a supercharged one, right? Just put a nuclear reactor on it. Really, really ionize the air. Maybe it may be the freshest air they've ever had. Salvage deposit accepted. Credit transferred. It's really something that they've done a pretty good job of cleaning up from the earlier versions of having air filters and radiation housings uh, you're spawning spawning on things that shouldn't. It was a lot more rampant before. At least we don't see that very often. Five minutes left, Cutter, okay? Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. That room depressurized? Yeah, it's okay. Not even a room, is it? <laughs> it's not a room, this is a door to the Door to the reactor. Engineering console. I like salvaging those big doors. I mean, we don't go out of our way usually to close the doors ahead of time, but nothing satisfying about pulling those gigantic doors out. Just in the okay. There's an attachment over there. That's strange. There must have been some ha hazard-prone people. We've got these patch kits all over the place. grabbing that button but fell under my cursor. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. All the little pieces of junk all over the place. Alright, it's come down cleanly. Sort of. Turn it a little bit, get it out of there. Oh. Trying to give it a little bit of a tap because I didn't want it to bounce into me and send me flying somewhere. And it just didn't go anywhere at all. Okay, I think we're going to leave this side alone for the moment. The back pulled away. So that we can are getting access to the reactor. That 
That's a separate piece. Mouse is getting a little squirrely there. Now we get these panels out of here. Still got to cut that free as well. The, the dreaded bay doors. We normally get the bay doors out as we go front to back, but clearing around them might actually make it a little bit easier because it's always so tough getting around in that area. Object processed. Transferring credits. But leaving them to last I might actually make that finish things up, Cutter. a lot easier. Nice. Carefully get this out. What oh, am I stuck on? This can't fit in that opening. I was trying to get lined up straight with it so I could send it out without it bouncing into things. Oh yeah, it's going to make it a lot easier to get these bays out. But instead of working on that, I'm going to make the mistake of turning these switches with 10 seconds left on the... on the shift. Never mess with the reactor stuff right at the end of a shift. <laughs> That's a bad idea. <laughs> No red. No red. Awesome. Any shift we can go through with a zero red is a good shift. By the way, I replaced the light that blew out last week. I had to steal a light from a different fixture. I'm out of those. <laughs> kind of surprising just how, mu how much darker it got in this room when that blew out last week. as loud as it popped on us, it made me a little nervous. What's in those things? Explosives? Damn, the mouse is still being a little squirrely on me. Nice, didn't go red. A lot of times when we do those really far ones, it kind of clips weird and ends up breaking itself. So we're going to take that room off, which is why we didn't bother cutting that floor out. We still might cut part of the floor out. We'll see after we get it removed. Depends on what's going to be more convenient for getting the junk out. Oh, no, no, no. You're bouncing around weird. Out of there, please. Salvage registered. Transferring credits.
Free money. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. It didn't show us how much money we got from. Oh, oh, oh. Salvage secured. It didn't show us how much money we got from the uh, credit drive. The back end came free a lot easier than it normally does. That was pretty nice of it. All right, so we don't need to remove Morning. this. Fuel levels are low. Levels are low. Didn't we find some free floating fuel? Let's uh. Retail of this because these things are unreliable as to exactly what we cut free that will actually free it up. I know that sometimes you have to cut the side, sometimes you don't. Start by not cutting the sides. That time it came free. Nice. We'll give this one the same chance. Kind of six tethers. Probably use the rest of the tethers to move the back end away. I don't want to be low on tethers when I'm pulling a reactor. Just in case something goes wrong. Yeah, see, both sides worked on this one. And I, I've gone out of my way to show it on stream before that sometimes you have to cut the sides. It just seems so inconsistent. Material accepted. Okay, so this room has got to go. Feel like we're gonna still cut some of that floor out. Tether supplies are dropping. I've never understood why she says tether supplies are dropping. Like every time I use a tether, the supply is dropping. I should just say supply is low. Getting low or something like that. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. That pretty fuel I see? Hello. Give me that. Pick all that stuff up. Processing object. Applying credits to account. <laughs> Still got five tethers left. We'll go ahead and do this now. Like it's running a little choppy. I don't think it's choppy as much as it's, it's the sensitive the mouse sensitivity is flipping all around on me. So it looks like I, I, I spin fast sometimes, sometimes I spin slow. That's what's happening. Hopefully when we get off this ship it'll go back to normal.
Bye bye. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Oh, <laughs> I was going for the door panel. I didn't expect that whole thing to come out. This has not been a uh, too bad of a salvage runner. I'm a little uncooperative in some bits, but no uh, big problems. Take care of this ECU. Which we pre cut the floor out of. Accepted. Yeah, I wonder if I've never really paid much attention to this terminal. I wonder if that has changed because we've already removed the reactor. I don't feel like that's always been the symbols on it. Now, now I want to look at one of them more closely when it's when the reactor is still attached. Let's see if that display has changed. It didn't change for there being, you know, the fuel or the, the coolant removed. So this is part of the exploit that I've read about. For people trying to get 100%. Something about them taking the whole thing to the barge and then cutting that so that doesn't count against them. Although it just said 0% or 0 credits lost on that. Not really sure what they're doing. I know they, they talked something about Salvage removing registered. what they had to do to Salvage remove the credit. ECU without getting dinged for it. Not specifically on this ship, but just on a ship with a, a class 2 reactor. All right, here comes the fun part. It's figuring out where this is attached where it shouldn't be. Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. I don't think it's touching anything. Has to make sure it's just not too heavy because we still have the whole thing as one unit. Yep, it's just too heavy. Excellent. I don't know that it's going to come off cleanly on that angle, but it's okay. Let's just do that, I guess. <laughs> Use up our last tethers real quick, like. <clears throat> Go get more. No tethers. Please refill we'll wait for stu some stuff to move around. Yeah, Nickel, you're it's exactly what it was. It was too heavy. Things are gonna get kind of in each other's way, so it's not this is not an ideal situation. Everybody's bumping into everybody. What else do we have left? Let's see here. It might actually be the... Well, no, we should have some stuff left in this bay, but I think that's it. We can start carving up the ship if we can get it out of the way. 
still looking at a partial another shift. I don't think we can get it done in three minutes. It's the time to move stuff around. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Plus, we still got to deal with all three of the fuses in the before we can pull the uh, generator. But yeah, we're definitely definitely looking at another shift. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. But I think that's the rest of everything. Just what's left in here. I gotta look back over there because that made the sound of it detaching from something that wasn't there. Alright, let's get this taken care of. Oh, that little, little block didn't come off like it normally does. Over. Not much time left, Cutter. One minute to go. Account credit. I think we just need to cut the ship in half and send it into the furnace. on the top of that because that's where the airlock would have been. All right. Very good. We need to figure out where we're going to cut the ship in half. Probably along this line right here, next shift. Zero point three percent. That seems uh, for that coolant pipe. That's an awful high kilogram count for the tiny little cuts that we've done. Of course, the pipes are really dense, so that's probably all it is. Morning Cutter 9346-52. All the team at Lynx would like to wish you a happy and productive day. I almost always have food off camera. <laughs> Everything out of the way. That was really the important thing. See if we can get away with getting this in here without getting stuck on everything. Likewise, this guy. I think we can. Stuff it in right there. I 
we'll just let those things start moving while we're cutting this up. Retether this so that when we do successfully cut it, it'll start moving. idea. I think we cut it right here. Oh, that was a satisfying cut. That was a little annoying. The wall coming apart. Disintegrated that entire panel. Material accepted. Is that a heat spreader above us? Transferred. Oh, that was a bad place to cut. Yeah, I, I have the thermal plates. I don't know if they're still a thing. It used to be you'd get dinged for breaking these. Uh, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna learn. We're gonna cut one on purpose and see what it does to us. Salvage destroyed. Yep. Please avoid damaging valuables. Still a bad thing. <laughs> Welcome, T-Rex. Doing good today. How are you doing? We're, uh, wow, that was really energetic. We're just hanging out and breaking things in the name of science. Did some harm to our very high percentage run. Wow, that really flipped. Look at that. Crazy. But, uh, welcome to the stream. I don't recognize your name. I think you're new to it. Always like to see new names. Oh, this is a wonderful game. I recommend it. Infinitely replayable. Well, you have chosen well. You're looking looking to watch someone play the game. <laughs> I have an entire tutorial series out for all, all the, the ships, pocket. although Credit that was before 1.0, but strategies are still more or less the same. But it's one of the great things about this game is there are so many different ways to do stuff. And uh, you know, the more you experiment, the more you find different strategies and different ways you can do things. need to just go in there, buddy. I don't think I checked inside to make sure we got everything out of it. I think we did. Yep, no lights.
That is a uh, good piece of advice there, Nicola. The engines on the on the uh, Atlas ship can be problematic, done in the wrong order, especially on the uh, the big Atlas. I feel like you need to be going into the furnace, and you're not. You're not coming back for another shift. Would you just get your groove on and get in there? That is going to break itself. I don't like the way it's turning towards the processor. I don't want to have to cut this one up. I don't see the other one, so I'm guessing it already made its way into the furnace. Why can't you be like your sister? Cooperate and go in. Yeah, there, there are some, uh, a little bit of weird physics under some scenarios in this game <clears throat> that has to do with mass calculations. And, uh, it doesn't normally rear itself, it's, it's ugly head in a bad way, usually more of a quirk. But on the, uh, the roustabout tug, that, that's the, the big atlas, you sometimes can have a, an engine basically throw the entire ship or murder you it's easy to avoid if you know of the issue but uh can be nasty please be surprising Yeah, you, you don't want to point lasers at fuel tanks. In fact, it's it's a really good habit to get in to not even have your laser tool out if you're pointing towards anything you don't want cut. It, you'll, you'll see by watching me, I'm almost always on my grappler unless I'm specifically cutting something. And I'll, I'll cut stuff and I'll switch to my grappler as I'm turning and I'll switch back to the cutter because I just don't want the... I don't want the laser out when I'm potentially going to cut something I don't want to. This is just really being dramatic, isn't it? Would you... It's trying to get me to, dry, to fly in so I can tether it some more. Still making progress. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Fuel supplies are available for purchase at the Master Jack. Also, we could cut this apart and make this go through more quickly. I wouldn't be sitting here. I, I, I like sending things in as one big piece, but I would have cut this open a long time ago if it weren't for the fact that we were waiting on another piece to go. Well, if you like to see a big bang, then, uh, yeah, you'll have, when you get to class two reactors, it'll be real easy to get big bangs. Raw material accepted. Seriously, the front... We fight so much with the furnace trying to take things we don't want it to. This thing is face first in the furnace and it's not even moving. We're going to cancel tethers. We're going to make sure the tethers aren't fighting it. Did 
This is re this is an insult to us. You could not be more in this furnace. I am not going to cut any more off of this thing. I am determined to get this whole piece to go in there. I'm even removing button lights to reduce the mass. Also, you should never do what I'm doing right now, which is be inside a ship that is pulling into the furnace and get pulled right in with it. It's a very bad idea. Trying to get the longest tethers I can because I pull pull more the longer they are. Uh, Hogwarts Legacy. I don't think I've looked at that. I don't know what time get, what, what type of game that is. You know what's going to happen here is it's just going to get stuck, right? It's what's going to happen. <sighs> we are running out of time. I'm running out of patience. gray we have what are... that chunk does not account for that much gray you watching the clock cutter you've got one minute left what are we missing missing something big oh that still isn't in what why are you not in what is it with this boat I am being dragged in! Ugh. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Oh, they're gonna make us come back for another shift! Now there's our mini me. Get in there! Get in there! <laughs> I I like the Harry Potter franchise. I don't I don't know uh, about going in about playing a Harry Potter based game. Uh, we just go to another shift. So every, every, at the end of every shift, you get charged for your next day's fees. Hello, ship breaker 9346-52. So here's our, our daily like fees. Now, we're, message. there's normally a lot more fees. We've, we've eliminated most of our fees. So our, our daily fee is trivial at this point. But, uh... The cost of going into another shift is that you're going to get another set daily fees. 
And we're going to go in there just to watch that thing go in. Because I'm determined. Plus, it just needs to be worth 85000 for us to break even. Processing valuable objects. Credits awarded. Which it may not be worth. But that's okay. We're going to do it anyway because we can afford it. Yep, that was a hundred thousand. So that was profit. We get so focused on dealing with that that annoying hole piece that we didn't even notice that that hadn't gone in. Thank you for your fuel levels restored. All right, that was a quick shift. <laughs> I think we made $800,000 in a few seconds. Now look at this. We got credit for a rudder. We turned all our rudders in. At the beginning. That's odd. There must have been another rudder in there somewhere. Those thruster caps were worth 250 grand on their own. See, we get the rest of the day off. We got to work for 20 seconds and then took the rest of the day off. Your designated sleep period is now over. Have a great day. I mean, I didn't see it right in the middle, but that's really the only place it could have been. I mean, those things are pretty obvious. But yeah, that's... I don't know where else it could have been. It has to have been in the middle. <clears throat> All right. Oh, Javelin Heavy, Javelin Heavy Cargo is a ghost ship. I don't want to... Goodness, they are all over the place. Look at this. Two Javelin Heavy Cargo ghost ships on the same roster. The ghosts are coming for us. I want to do a Javelin Heavy Cargo, but we can't really challenge ourselves the way we're trying to if it's a ghost ship. We're not avoiding it because because we're afraid of ghosts. So I think we'll do we'll do a mackerel. Cycle the 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 set. Oh, it's a Faro Rojo. Favorite company anyway. Yeah, it, it would uh it would be nice to get paid that way. Get rid of that real quick, like. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. The, uh, the boat's not red and white checkered, it's just red. I mean, it's got some white outlines, but uh, the Fedora Rojo is usually a, a checkered ship. If there's anything to remove off the outside, we no longer remove the front piece. All right, well, then just go inside. Pressurizing. Get that anymore? Salvage deposit accepted. Credit Yeah, the the uh, the ghost ships are centered around a kind of a a a B storyline. It's it's a uh, not part of the main plot. Hey, hard drive. Oh, it's got an audio. Hey, Mac. Yeah, it's rolling. Listen, I, uh, I tried getting back to you about the reactor, man, but, well, look, I don't know. Your problem ain't that easy to solve. It's looking structural. Some micro fractures all along the left side. 
I know how you like to fly them, and I know you ain't keen on spending money, but I don't think you can keep running her like this. That structure's gonna give one day, and you don't want to be riding the rails when that happens, man. I know you got bills to pay, and I guess that the upfront cost of a junker is a better deal on the outset of a gig, but man, with all the cash you're paying for repairs, wouldn't it be better if you just got something new with a good warranty on it? Don't get me wrong, Mac, you keep me in business, but I don't know. I can't help feeling this ain't a great business plan. Man, or, or a great life plan, for that matter. <laughs> anyway, when you get this, call me back. I think you should sell this one to Link's for salvage. You say there at the end you can sell it to, to Link's for salvage? That guy had strong opinions about used vehicles, didn't he? I like those the hard drives that have the audio logs that we can just play them without having to do all the decryption stuff. It adds something to, you know, while you're salvaging as opposed to sitting around in your salvage deposit and I have just credits awarded walking through logs. Salvage secured. Adds ambiance to the you know, actual gameplay. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Alright, that's an easy asteroid to drag around, so let's go ahead and take care of that now. <clears throat> so this is another ship that it experiences a physics bug. Uh, which I'm not going to demonstrate, but I'll show you what would cause you problems. Salvage deposit secured. So in the in the mackerels, most of the mackerels have these fuel lines in there and you need to get in the walls and flush the fuel. That gets all the fuel out of the pipe so that you don't blow the thing up. The thing about the heavy cargo mackerel is that you have, you know, you don't actually have solid walls. So you can actually get to the fuel lines through the walls. So here, See right there, I have the option to flush that valve. I can reach through the, the bars and grab that flush. The problem is, is that when I do it, it tries to pull my model into the room so that I'm lined up with the, the animation for, the, for the, uh, the flushing. And the act of my model being pushed into that wall pushes the entire ship. And by the time we get done flushing it, the entire ship would be right there on the edge of the processor and it could potentially go into the processor. <laughs> so you don't want to do that because it's going to throw the ship across the yard. Now it's fine if you can just go in, like like here we were able to go into the door and actually get in front of it. So this didn't, it didn't cause our model to pull into the grate. But it is a, a cautionary tale. Because it will happen every single time. That's going to be a heavy shirt. I'm not going to drag that one. Salvage deposited. Off of this Apply roof so we can start getting the roof out. It's pressurized and okay. I was like, oh, I took the last door lock off of it. I did not. Airlock depressurizing. There we go. Salvage accepted. Credit applied.
don't want to make it sound like it's a buggy game by telling you about the bugs, but that's really, really the only things. Yeah, they're they're all the only real bugs in this game are physics bugs. The engine just doesn't handle some some things real well. But once you are aware of them, they're real easy to avoid. Valuable object processed. Credits deposited. Like you're not likely to see any physics bugs if you're watching my my gameplay because I know of the issues and I'm. By habit, I avoid them. It doesn't doesn't in any way impact the gameplay for me. Material deposited. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. That's really the only two places I can think of that the physics I'm not even I don't even want to call my physics bug a physics exploit because there are people who exploit it for their advantage I think it's the only two places that I can think of where it's actually an issue which is the the Atlas thruster and, and this ship specifically all right uh, we flushed that one let's uh, turn the handle Yeah, this game has been very thoroughly tested before it went before it went live. But a very active community. Mm -hmm. That worked. A very active community and, and uh, very interactive developers. I want to flush this other side. Da -da -da. Fly through the cage. Hopefully things won't get in our way. I don't know what's on the other side of that, so I'm not going to use the split saw. Five minutes left, Cutter. You know what you're doing? Like oh, that fuel hey. tank right there. Split saw could have been bad. <laughs> could have been real bad. Alright, so now the pipes are safe to disconnect. <laughs> I said that and then I used my split saw right next to the fuel tank. I half expected to be, there to be an explosion. Alright, safe to cut now. Boom! Generally, the split saw is safe to use around things that can go boom. It's the stinger that is more likely to get you in trouble. That's not a bug. That's actually intentional. Using burning things near exploding things is just philosophically not smart. Right there, I am not using a split saw. <laughs> Move out of my way, please. You too. All right. 
got everything off of this one. I think, yeah, I think we got all the cuts. You can separate this wall into multiple pieces, but it all goes to the same place, so we try to we try to keep it in one piece as best as we can. Like the piping here, it all goes that's all going to the processor. And since the pipes are still attached to each other, they're still attached to the segments, which is keeping the whole wall as one piece. Matter of efficiency. Just because there are cut points doesn't mean you need to cut all the points. Do ever who do however need to watch it and make sure it's going to the processor, not the furnace. Uh minutes. I wanted to get to the front, but I think we're gonna spend our minute trying to free up this wall. As I clicked the button to cut that pipe off of there, I had to, I had just a, just a nanosecond moment of panic of did I did I remember to flush this side? <laughs> I think I flushed it. Salvage deposit secured. Yeah, that way, please. There's one minute left till the end of the ship. Time. Not gonna be so delicate. All right. I think that frees up this wall as well. Yeah, there we go. Excellent. That was a nice clean shift. I read a little bit of aluminum. I don't remember what that came from. 13 kilograms. That's basically nothing. What did we break that had aluminum? It only hit cut points. Good morning, Shipbreaker. This is your daily wake up call. Huh. Around my other window here, real quick. Oh, here we go. See if we can clean this whole thing up in one shift. We made really good progress on that shift. It'll be the heavy barrels. We'll just gather it. It's like fighting with it. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. An eye on this guy. Oh. Might help if we Tether. remember to grab these. Glad I came over here to babysit this because I forgot all about those. Should be fine. I'm gonna flip it away from the furnace anyway because I don't want to babysit it anymore. Salvage secured. 
Applying credit. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the reactor now. Bye bye. Like we might need to retether that wall piece. I wanted to get out of the way because we need to cut all these nanocarbon wall sections out. How did that not get the cut point in front of us? Okay, that should not have taken the whole ship with it. Applying credits to account. You, sir, should already be in the processor. <clears throat> Last other. other supply depleted. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Thank you for your colors restored. Looks like the other one went in. That guy's fine. Uh, I think it's doing okay now. They'll have power, so I can't remove the junction box yet. Ooh, just barely cleared that. That was gonna go good. I think it's going in. It is. We'll count it. Yeah, there's no radiation housing on this ship. That's a little unusual. You know, we, we had that hard drive from here where he was talking about how junky this old ship was. Because it was used. Maybe it was a bargain ship because it didn't have any radiation housing on it. Front off, looting the cockpit. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Uh, it moved at the last second. That uh, was not a very clean cut. That was disappointing. I think it's still attached.
dismantle this and then try to figure out what side it's still attached to. Valuable object process. Credits deposited. Come on. Let let go. Let you just Thank you. Now we can just deal with this uncooperative piece. Why is the glass stuck too? Clearly not the top and bottom because Fine. Well, thank you very much for joining us at one in the morning for you. Yeah, definitely. Uh, have a good night then. And uh, be sure to... We, we do this... We frequently do these uh, streams. It's not always hard space, but... Uh, Processor deposit accepted. Be sure to check out our other stuff. Hope to see you in the future. Material accepted. I don't think that tomfoolery is going to prevent us from getting this done in this shift. But Sure didn't help. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Since we don't have to cut our radiation housings out really going to cut out the time that we have to spend doing this. You know, the, the dealing with the back half. Salvage secured. Applying credit. What did that attach? It really, you attached to the seat. You did too. What is going on here? I'm gonna go outside now. Mm. Made that more difficult than necessary. Oh! Got about five minutes I know not to do the light object over the heavy object, but I thought I was—I thought we were physically close enough to the the barrier that it would spring down and catch the barge before it sprung back up. It did not happen. Came back a lot more quickly than I anticipated. That was dangerous. Applying credit to account. Alright, no door handles because there is no door. There's our mini me. Yeah, I didn't check and see what percentage we had on the the gecko after we picked up all those button lights. We had to do a lot of extra cutting just to get the 
darn thing to go in, so... I doubt they made up for it. Alright, let's do our sweep. What is this? Bag of chips. I go for a bag of chips. Hopefully there are still Doritos in the future. You are not getting another tether. I look in the future, the only flavor that'd be left would be something boring like Cool Ranch. Material deposited. Account credit applied. 99.2? Nice. Thank you for checking. Now that you mentioned that, I realize that I forgot to start recording. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they, they, they got a lot of gray. Nice. Very nice. Check something here real quick, like... All right. I... When I just... Meant, when I mentioned that I realized I had stopped... Had, had forgot to start the recording, I, uh... There's a new button. They, um, the recording software OBS had a major update. I just know. So there's a new button over there. Two new buttons. I want to click them, but I don't know what they do. <laughs> I'm after the after the stream, I have to remember to look. Please enjoy this inspirational message. Um, the last ten percent of a job takes as much energy as the first ninety percent. When I was when I was talking about the recording, I, I realized that I had a dream last night that I was recording and ran out of hard drive space. So I just tabbed off real quick and checked to make sure I had hard drive space. I get plenty, but it is funny thing to to have to dream about. It shows you I, I do I do way too much of this stuff. Dream about recording videos and running out of drive space. All right. Oh, this is the uh, uh, the Tibber transplant uh, plantary. I like. I really like their symbol. And this is usually, I think, the ones that have green and on them. Uh, I really like the paint jobs on these. Sneak a bite real quick before delving into this big ship. All right, so we're going to we're going to see how much we can get done in one shift. I mean, we're doing the whole ship, but we're going to, we're going to push this ship to see how much we can get in one shift. So last time we did this ship. And we were surprised to find that it has been reworked and really like the new ship. I, I love the new way they've done it. But we had some observations on what we want to try for a strategy on this. So I think... Let's see here. We need to... We need to pull the antenna off right at the beginning. 
go straight to the back. No, no. I think this out. We need to... I think the first thing we do is we go straight past everything and we start tethering the bottom row of the cargo on both sides because it takes time for the tethers to pull away. And last time, we actually ran into a max tether count, which slowed us down. We couldn't place any more tethers and we were waiting for cargo to go places. So I think what we do is we strip all the bottom cargo as the very first thing. While they're moving, we come back, uh, put a demo charge on the antenna. Depending on where they're at, we probably we'll probably go ahead and detonate it and send it and then maybe run over and flush the fuel and then come back and get this top row. We also need, we also, I think we need to get these side panels off. I think those were valuable enough and they're kind of, they're in the way for us to get, yeah, bottom and armor, exactly. Uh, because the interior now breaks in half instead of us pulling the rings off. And we're going to want to be able to do that if, you know, as much as we can in the first shift because there's cargo inside now and that cargo is valuable. And of course we need to get to the reactor. So that's going to be our strategy. We're going to hit this bottom row first, come back, demo charge this, we're going to assess where these are at by the time we're done doing that. If we can, we're going to tether these top ones. If not, maybe we'll start cutting these side things off. The bottom. And then we need to flush, fuel, run back, get the reactor. Probably get the nacelles. And see if we can get into these rings to get some of the cargo out. We're not going to go, we're probably going to ignore the power generator. Unless we we find ourselves in a good situation to be able to pull it after we pull the rings off. But I'm thinking that probably not. It also means we're not going to try to pull the front of the ship off. Alright, we got a game plan. I think we have enough demo charges. We don't use very many. Like in the first shift, we'll probably only use a couple. And we have, I think, a pretty good set of tethers here. Yeah, 41. We'll grab this real quick. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Like they got out of our way already. That's good. Anyway, I think we do need to get better at doing this high speed, getting a getting a solid position where we can fly sideways and get both of these in one cut without risking hitting the the hull itself. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Um, we should probably do these now. And they're kind of, they might be in the way of the cargo getting down quickly. And if we know we're going to get these anyway. Because they're holding the rings together. Well, I guess they're not holding the rings together because the plates behind them is what's holding the rings together. Not necessarily true. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Time for you to go in other places. Yeah, 
They didn't cancel the other tethers. That was bad. Uh, yeah, I mean, pre-tethering the, the plates probably would be a good idea. I'm, I'm a little, I'm trying to be a little conservative on the tethers because we're worried about our tether max. So I'm looking to see if I can get away with handling these manually. I agree, it would probably be a little quicker if I pre-tethered these. Okay, cancel tethers. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. When you left. <clears throat> and that's the thing, right? Probably what I should be doing is pre-tethering it. Just like if I had remembered to cancel tethers before I started grabbing that second set of cargo, then we would have known our tether count was low enough to be safe to tether the the uh, armor pieces. But I knew I'd, I'd kind of back myself in the corner by forgetting to cancel tethers. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. I th don't think we need to cut these, but I think they're valuable enough. Actually, we do need to cut them because we're... If we succeed in taking the... Uh, Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Taking the rings apart, we need to be able to send the rings into the processor, and these Salvage don't go in the processor. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Flushy, flushy. Open door. Turn in console because these are valuable. I think we have to get the nacelles. I think for the time we spend cutting them out, they're very valuable. Be quick and efficient about it, though. I'm a little all over the place. I'm going to just leave this nacelle sitting here for the moment until we get the bottom one out of its way. Paranoid by my back being next to that fuel tank while I'm doing all this cutting. And tethers left. Warning. Fuel levels are low. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. Door opening. Airlock depressurizing. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Tethers. Tether supplies running low. I mean, the demo chargers. Fire in a hole. Salvage secure. Account credit applied. Air pressure level. Now, probably I should have just cut out the airlock rather than going through this whole process, but. Trying to be a little safe. Okay. 
eliminate some variables. While we are trying to maximize our profit on the first shift, we are still doing the whole ship. Okay, uh, get this out. Little tethers. Salvage. Waste time trying to grab a light. Transferring credits. This out of our way. It's our way more quickly. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Processor Can we get this credit. ring out? Credits awarded. I think so, yes. Ah, oh, three tethers. We need tethers. I'm gonna have to walk this. Save on tethers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good enough. Not the panel I was aiming for, but I'll take it. Going, it was on the list to get. Alright, we're gonna save on tethers. Do this manually. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Hey, Cutter, you've got five minutes left in the shift. Hope you're having fun. Uh, oh, that did not look good. I knew in my mind that that would work, but man, it looked like I was going to cut that pipe. We have not flushed the ECU yet. On my way. That does not look like a clean cut. That was what it was. Bad cut. Salvage destroyed. Don't do that. Woo -hoo! That was a good cut. Last tether. Last tether, and we're done with the back of the ship. So. Woo. Welcome to Vendatron 9000. Uh, 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 fuel. Thank you for your fuel levels restored. Oh, I didn't pre open this side, I pre opened the other end. Valuable object accepted for process. Open the door. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Airlock pressurizing. Come not on, give us a, a working regulator. Oh, wait a minute. This is not the same interior. No, this is the old style interior. No. <laughs> Oh no. I was so worked up to do the other thing. Okay. Um 
Yeah, there's a working regulator. No, that's not a working regulator. That's the door handle. Darn it. We were doing so good, too. Airlock depressurizing. Um... You know what? We're just... We're out of working regulators. We're just gonna break this wall. This is gonna... This is gonna have a big chain reaction. Ow. Where are the pieces that went flying? Because I want to make sure they're not going somewhere that we don't want them. Like right there. Processing valuable object. Credits awarded. Parts of that wall has stuff on it. I don't think. I don't think it was those parts. I think our. our our run has basically been completed. Yeah, the rest of the wall is still there. Valuable object I wanted to get in and, and try to get to the uh, regulator, the, the power generator, but we don't have time for that, so I'm just, this is my consolation prize. Salvage. Some terminals out of here. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Oh, we didn't make it. Ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, yeah, Rixer, that was, um, exactly, the, the titanium outer hull plate uh, panels are, it's one of our, our, our pain points on doing this ship because of trying to take the armor plating off quickly, really endangers, you know, just one little miscut will take out that whole titanium bit, and it'll cause an explosive depressurization. So that's uh, that's pretty terrible. I mean, we still made almost 16 million. Um, it was a good, it was a good run. But uh, had we known that we could have made more, if we had we known that the interior was not the cargo style, we wouldn't have taken as much time getting panels off, and instead we would have gone in and gotten the front taken out. Because we can turn in some rings off the front for for value, and we can get access to the uh, power generator, which is definitely more valuable. <clears throat> and I don't think we could reasonably have spent the time examining the interior to see if it was, you know, I mean, maybe we could have looked through the wall with the visor. To adjust our strategy based on what type we had, but we didn't realize that the, the old style was still a thing. I Hello, ship breaker nine, three, saw the new one. I'm like, oh, it must have been the first time we have done one of those since 1.1. 1. 1. Some people dream of great salvage, and that that was just the new style. Every morning and make it happen. Apparently, I was wrong. But we normally we we could take this whole front piece off, and get credit for it. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. Uh, did those terminals both make it in? No, they did not.
those just literally not credit? Did you guys see that? Okay, well, they're stuck on the barge now, but they didn't they didn't get the green flash and we didn't get notification of it. Nicholas talking about uh, you said you did an experiment on the closed ring. You're talking about the the one that there's no way in. Oh, nice. So you, you were able to cut your way in through the uh, the bottom pan. This thing right here. And normally, that, I'm hesitant to do that because I like to I like to shave it off to remove it. But if we can use this as a access point. Uh, and maybe, like, I don't know that we lose any value when we blow it open, which is, uh, it's just, other than it just being annoying. I wonder if we could do the shave from here with your experiment. Um, okay, uh, we'll, we'll try that uh, after we get the, the blowing up bits away from it. <laughs> Um, we'll, <clears throat> we'll definitely try that. I'm going to open up the front and get his cockpit off, and then we're going to go from back to front. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll try your experiment out. Looks like, oh, oh, never mind. Oh, that sealed itself, too. Seriously, he compressed on the outside and inside, but the door... See, that's... <clears throat> this is where I have a problem with the behavior of these doors. The interior was pressurized. We depressurized the cockpit. And the airlock door is closed, which should have maintained the pressure on the inside, but it didn't. It allowed the inside to depressurize anyway. And then the doors close and pressurize themselves. They didn't connect between. <clears throat> They're supposed to adjust based on both sides. Which means they should have closed and remained pressurized. <clears throat> and saved the inner room from being depressurized. If that made any sense. Right now, all they did was close and pressurize themselves, but didn't save the room that they were supposed to be saving the room from changing state. It, it seems, it's very unpredictable. The, the reason I cut my way out of the air lot, of the, the cockpit was to depressurize this inner chamber. Okay, that isn't what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> um, yeah, the compartments are segregated. Just, we're just going to blow it. Hopefully we don't get hit in the face by a... a Actually, the depressurization is going to come from behind us. Are there comp are there components in here? Airlock depressurizing. I don't. Uh, yeah, okay, as long as we're in the way, we can we can try to block stuff from hitting those computer components. We'll just do it from this side. Ah, regular got broken. That's so annoying. Oh no, 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 not fire. No, I have no way of getting this out. Oh yeah, let's just set ourselves on fire. Open this door. Don't set everything else on fire. Just out. 
Ah, too late. What in the world set this on fire? Even our electrical arc from that broken regulator? We need to get back inside, make sure nothing else is going bad. Breaking bad. <laughs> oh, more fire. Get away from stuff that you can burn. Yes, let's bring it past the fuel tanks. That's a good idea. Why is everything closed? Ah, stop that. Oh, I can't take it out that way. That's where the fuel tanks are at. Alright, we're just going to park you in a corner here. and Hopefully you'll burn out. I am not taking it out through that airlock. <laughs> okay, uh... Make sure there's nothing in the outer walls that are burning, too. Alright, that seems to be clear. Yeah, I don't know what what started that fire. I mean, we had a, a regulator get broken, but that's just from it coming off the wall and smacking into something. That doesn't... That doesn't it's not an electrical arc or anything. And this is all off kilter too. How'd that come off? I don't think I pulled that off. Okay, uh, just not my problem. We're work, we're working on the back. We'll deal with this later. Okay, so we still got to deal with the sidecar. Nope, nope, that's not what I was aiming at. Great, that was my way in. Trying to pull the light. Alright, let's see if we can set something else on fire from a depressurization. I closed the inner door, didn't you? Uh, of course you did. And the door doesn't work. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's still power. Why is that door not working? And then there goes a regular. Oh, that's a good regular too. It's not broken. We could have depressurized by pressing a button. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. That one was clean. Salvage deposited. Applying credit to account. Airlock depressurizing. Yeah. Salvage secured. Applying credit. Well, at least this is now depressurized. And we didn't want to do a haunted cargo ship. It's <laughs> Five minutes left, Cutter. All good? Good. Feeling fairly haunted as it is. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. 
Uh, let's get this out first. Or I accidentally cut it. Actually, let's do these two. I'm going to sneeze, trying not to. There we go. Oh, one more. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Base Pepsi. I'm not actually drinking Pepsi today. I have got... Uh, oh, what's the Blue Mountain do? I want to say live wire, but that's the that's the the red one. Volt? No, that's not it either. Whatever the Blue Mountain do is, that's what I've got. Normally, I know the name, but I'm just drawing a blank at the moment. Uh, let's see here. Get everything out of here. Valuable object accepted for processing. Also, the the gas station that I get my refills at are real good about having the the newest flavors. And they had the the new. Yeah, I think voltage is right. They had the new purple, I think it was purple Mountain Dew, and I just, I didn't get around to, to trying it. And I, when I went there today, they, they had removed it from the fountain. So I, I waited too long. They still have the uh, the Major Melon Mountain Dew on Fountain, which is really strong stuff. Pretty good. I think Voltage is my favorite. Well, Baja Blast is my favorite Mountain Dew, but as far as I'm aware, that's still a thing that you can only get at uh, Taco Bell. I feel like they they made a another version of Baja Blast, but I can't think of what it was. Stuck here. Kind of works. Uh, I don't know. Working too hard to get that angle. Faster just to stinger it. I don't know if I've mentioned it, but I am allergic to dairy. Credit applied. And, uh... So I no longer, no longer go to Taco Bell, because... Everything there has cheese and sour cream on it. I'm not going to get taco products without cheese and sour cream. It's just... Why bother at that point? Processing object. Bye-bye. Made it. <laughs> We lost two soft crates. So that other soft crate must have burned up before we even got in there. It just probably was all the way in the back with the mattress. So we only saw the one crate that we dragged out and got repeatedly set on fire by.
and there was no way I was going to risk taking that mattress out past the fuel. Mattress is not worth that much. <laughs> Good morning, ship breaker. Your theta wave levels are high. Please and I wasn't going to try to drag it all the way back through the ship and then up to the other... Aside from the fact that I'm pretty sure we didn't have enough time to drag it all the way through that, that bend, I also didn't want to get, get set on fire. A man's got his limits. And mine is three or four times being set on fire. Gotta cut it off somewhere. Let's go ahead and just all the demo charges. Stuck on a pipe. Good. Good. Yeah, we got enough charges on us. Object processed. Transferring credits. Fire and hold. Still amazes me that we don't blow up the tank doing that. <clears throat> Frostbite. What do you uh what are you talking about there, Jake? Alright, here comes the most nerve-wracking part. Making sure we turn ourselves away so the beam is going from... Oh, you know what? Maybe we can do it from this angle. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, yeah, I agree with you. I suspect that if we didn't upgrade the... The, uh, explosive radius that we probably very well could turn off the, uh, set off the, the whole thing. Every time we do this, I, I look at this and, and, and try to figure out if there's another way of pulling this apart. I, I still think we have to cut these beams. Any other solution is going to end up having a, a ring on the back pulling forward and still trapping the, the fuel tank. That should make that secure to come out once we finish emptying the room. Uh, yeah, Rick, I, I think that that is the most efficient cut we can do. This is, every time I look at it, I feel like there's a different puzzling way we could dismantle that. By I don't think there actually is. I just looking at it every time makes me reassess it. Cuz 
we end up cutting this again to get the pipes out. I mean, we can we can cut the pipes and probably leave it. I think is what we're going to do this time. I think it's the way we normally did it. We're just trying to find another way. Keeping all the pipes as one piece. I think we're better off just doing it this way. Move this really heavy. Come on. I'm on the brakes. Come on, come on, come on, come on. out a little bit. All right, I should handle all of those. I mean, the pipes are still pretty heavy, it's just they're awkward also to drag around. You get behind them and give them that little push helps a lot. Alright, so we're at the sealed compartment part. Yeah. So we're gonna, we're gonna do just the straight cut. Normally I'd like to get a little bit higher so that we can actually see the nanocarbon beam and shave across there, but we're gonna, we're gonna do it from here. Might lose this a little bit more aluminum, but the biggest problem here is I can't really tell what my elevation is relating to the back half of it. Nice and clean. Yeah, see, we left actually left a fair amount of it behind. But that was a good that was a good access to the room. So I like that. Thanks for the suggestion. Let's find a way of removing the rest of this. <clears throat> Actually I'm gonna wait. Once we get the ring away I can get a better cut. Probably I'm gonna vaporize the rest of that trying to remove it. go on the inside of there and Salvage cut those supports. That should come off. Yeah, it does.
Okay. Yeah, we're free. Applying credit. Bye bye. I said bye bye. No need to linger. Now we gotta get on the inside of that wall and cut the stuff free. It's fine because we also need to cut five minutes left in the shift, cutter, okay? Part of okay. this free as well. I think we're gonna take care of fuses. Next. Just him because we're gonna start dissecting the interior. And, uh, ah, I knew better than to do that, and I did it anyway. I, I cursored over, over that real quick and saw a gray line and went, okay, that, that part's safe to cut. And I checked it because I knew in the back of my mind there was a reason I needed to check it, and it was because of that stupid titanium panel. My, my spidey sense was going off, but I checked the wrong thing. All right, as I was saying, that's, I wanted to get, I want to get the fuses done here. Where are where? All the fuses gone. Where are where can they be? There they are. All right. I think all the doors are open. Not only are they open, I think they're all cut. <laughs> because we had to keep recutting doors and causing depressurization events over and over again. So they weren't cooperating. <clears throat> then resulting in a fire. And us getting set on fire. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure we got the doors. <laughs> Alright, so what we normally do is we do three segments at a time. One, two, three. So we would normally cut this. Yeah, it's still it is still cut after the fuse. I do think it's it is a good practice to make sure you have all your doors open though. And once you start doing anything with the electrical system, because it's easy to okay, well, I'm just gonna grab this next and not realize that you went one step too far. And uh and it, and it's too late. I think we got all of that. Yeah, checking all the doors is a good thing to have on your checklist. Did I miss anything? Felt like I was a little rushed, and things aren't moving, so I do feel like I must have missed something. It's not moving. Anything too heavy? One, two, One left, three. Uh, right, the segments at the division right. point. That might be the problem. I think that's the problem. Yeah, because it's got these corner pieces because of that. Annoying wall. Can we pull four segments? 
Actually, is that... Before I start cutting. I'm going to see if there's maybe... Maybe there are supports hanging onto that wall. Actually, we can't pull that wall forward because it's going to run into everything. So even if we have not cut these, which we haven't, pulling it forward with that wall segment is not going to work in our favor. But we need to... We need to go with two segments. That's what we're going to have to do. I'm not sure why there's that extra uh, guard piece, because that should be one big space. There, are, there isn't an airlock in there for it to be part of the, uh, the division. And I'm pretty sure we don't normally run into those because we always do three segments and it, it's always free to do. Good morning, Cutter. It's time to begin your work day. Which is why I didn't follow the standard procedure of counting them from inside the hall instead of inside the room. <laughs> I was like, oh no, it's always that way. For once, we'll just shortcut and just go straight to it. Of course, that's the one time it's different. Things like that don't help my OCD. I always want to follow the procedure. Instinctually. And there's a time when I override and go, you know what, it's always that way. You don't have to follow that full thing. That's the one time it's different. And my OCD says, see, there's a reason we have these in place. Look what happens when you don't follow the rules. Uh, yeah, the, the power cells... Um, on ships that don't have a generator, the power cells provide all of the power. <clears throat> on ships that have a generator, it's the generator that provides the power. It's the reactor that doesn't provide the power on any of them. seems kind of strange to me. Like, I appreciate that the uh, reactor isn't powering the ship, per se, but I would expect it's powering the power cells. Just like on a, on a car, right? Like, you know, if you turn on your AC in your car, it's drawing from the battery. And then the engine is recharging the battery. So I would kind of expect that the reactor would still like if the if we pulled the power cells, I would expect that the reactor would work in their stead. Like the system would detect that there's a lack of battery power to operate the machinery and therefore kicks in the reactor as a power source. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. But I am not an engineer, nor am I an electrician. Salvage secured. <clears throat> and the uh, the ways of, of electronics often mystify me. <laughs> or electricity itself. Electronics, not so much. Electricity, yeah. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. I watched a video not too long ago, sometime this year, 
that explained how how wires carry electricity and how electricity is a field that is around the electrons, not the electrons themselves, which blew me away. Like the flow of electrons, I guess I understood it right. The flow of electrons does not generate electricity itself. It's a field that follows the electrons. And they explained that because of that's how electricity works, that that caused problems for things like uh, like the undersea cables. Because the undersea cables have to be so insulated from their environment that they ended up dampening the field that is actual electricity. I don't know. It's all magic to me. Uh, the fuel bottle is a broken fuel bottle. <laughs> Unless there was another one that I missed. If there's another one that I missed, then hopefully you'll tell me before it goes in because of the delay. I do appreciate the heads up. You know I miss those things. Especially when I get talking about stuff. Okay, so we're gonna have to pull this ring. See, normally we'd like to have that last segment. We're gonna have to pull this ring around. This is where it's problematic because it's a double ring thanks to this. I think we're going to pull it back and then cancel and then redirect. Salvage registered. Yeah, that's good. Transferring credits. I'll get us access to this uh, radiation housing. Ooh, oh, 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 I know it's getting stuck on that. I saw that. Too late. That's all right. It didn't hurt anything. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying so tethers. I'll deal with that radiation housing in a minute once that's out of my way. Mm -hmm. yeah, you can just sit here. You're going to the same place that thing is. Those lights are they're tougher than the, the bulbs above me, above my head. I still can't get over how loud the uh, it was when that bulb burned out last week. Loud enough for you guys to hear it. Right through there. Very nice. I feel like this broke its tether. It did. I like fighting with you, just go. Have your extra tethers and get out of here. That was dangerous. I did a I, I did a little reeling while I was 
pulling that apart. Shouldn't do that on electronics. I'm afraid you can spring over and nudge something along the way and electrical sparks happen and salvage deposit registered. Account credited. You have a bad day. Like you should be in there. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. Molten aluminum coming flying at me. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Five minutes left to get your work done. Okay, Cutter? Thank you. I'll Long grab that right now. Accepted. Salvage goal obtained. Additional rewards assigned. Salvage deposit confirmed. That one had a personal terminal on it. I didn't see it when I tethered it. Normally I try to remove those first so they don't all crazy. Had to have been where it came from, though. Is that thing still not in there? You're not that heavy. I had three tethers. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. A little worried that second bin was going to flip and throw that pipe at me. I was ready to dodge. Valuable object processed. Credits awarded. It did try, it's for sure. I was a champ at dodgeball when I was a little kid. It just couldn't hit me. I was too fast. Good reflexes. Salvage deposit registered. It usually ended up with just me, the only one, only one left against several members of the other team, and them just all throwing balls at me constantly, and they didn't end up just having to call it. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. I feel like that's... Yeah, because this is the same problem there with that wall in the way. Okay. That one can't free. That yeah, dodgeball was definitely my game. My my non 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 sports sports game, you know the cool game. Material accepted. My sport was soccer. For processing. 
I was the goalie for the state champs. Kind of ironic, that I think about it. I was so good at dodgeball because I was so good at getting out of the way of the ball, and I was so good at soccer because I was so good at getting in the way of the ball. <laughs> I, ne I never thought that out. Return to the master jack to purchase supplies. One minute left on the clock, Cutter. One minute. Was I always goalie or forward? I had this brutal power slide. I could run at a kid who had the ball and slide and just take it right out from under him and pop right back up and keep going with it. I only got yellow carded once for it. It's kind of biding my time because I know we only got a few seconds here, and I don't want to, I don't want to pop anything that can go strange coming off the walls or. Salvage accepted. Credit Kill some time there. I played a little bit of everything. Played baseball and was absolutely terrible at it. Just, just terrible. It's strange because I have such good hand eye coordination, but I just could not hit a pitch. I could run the bases fast, good throw. I'm ambidextrous, so I could, I could switch hit and I could throw with either either, either hand. I was a sidearm pitcher. Good morning, ship breaker. And that's the, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I only played when I was really young when it came to baseball. The coach wouldn't let me pitch because, uh, because I was a sidearm. And I later kind of came to the understanding that the reason he didn't want me to pitch because I was so young that, um, that people who, who sidearm pitch, apparently, and do so all their lives, uh, do some real damage to their to their arms. That, that side throw like that. And uh, being that I was so young, he didn't want to... Uh, he didn't want to encourage that. So I respect... Just protecting me. But I was never good at the game anyway, so I didn't stick with it. Here. Uh, yeah, so the whole, right, the whole table thing is you gotta, it's the most dangerous thing, I think, to pull. Because they can jolt up. I mean, of all the things I pull, I am the most steady when I'm when I'm pull. I make sure I don't move even a pixel. I don't want to give it any encouragement. Because even if you pull one perfectly, it can still throw the the terminals. And yeah, and if it throws the terminals, you're in a whole world of hurt because all of those are individual parts including a battery on it and it's just an electrical storm it is probably the most volatile thing to pull in the game let's see here one two three you know we i don't know if we can go with our three we need to yeah we do this time because right here's the dividing wall so we from here. <laughs> I'm always nervous. Every time I, I pull one of those tables, it, it always makes me anxious. And it's why it's why it's one of the things that I never tether. 
you know, we, we tether so many things to get them off the walls. I will never tether one of those tables. You're just, you're just asking for it. Please blow up half my ship. Oh look, we got the the return of the uh, impossible containers. The smugglers. Loot. We haven't seen those in... I don't think we've seen this since 1.0. We used to see that in every one of these before 1.0. Making me feel more and more like this, we just got a really rare ship, because we didn't get the new cargo type, and we've got the old, old-fashioned smugglers type, and we had a dividing wall that was on the, th on the three, which are not normally on the three. This ship's been breaking all kinds of rules. Which is fine, you know, the, it, keeps it, it keeps it from becoming... You know, the same thing all the time. You always have to stop and think. Part of what I like about this game. You can't just run on auto for all of it. I think you should already be in the processor. Processing valuable deposit. Credits transferred. Salvage goal met. Rewards will be paid. Yeah, Rick, the any any kind of container can be down there, right? Yeah. This is definitely not the ship we were looking for. This may not be the ship we want, but it might be the ship we need. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Salvage Doesn't really matter what they throw at us, because we have already... We have already won the day, because we found one of the posters we were looking for. Yep. I should have pushed that. Oh, okay, it broke. I was going to say, I should have pushed that through the other way because I didn't want to drag that through all this stuff. But the tether already broke, so not a problem. Nope. I mean. Processing object. Applying credits to account. I know, that stupid ship. No, if, <clears throat> if Shipbreakers 2 doesn't let us salvage that ship, I'm gonna protest. I mean, look at that. I kinda wish we had a, like, a zoom feature. This is interesting looking, I mean, 
it has this giant structure down the middle. It's like it's a flying shipyard. Like, you know, there's a middle area for it to house something. I want to know what the function of that ship is. Yeah, it definitely looks juicy. I would spend all day salvaging that thing. And I... I have to feel like it wouldn't be... too difficult for them to give us something like that. I mean... I don't want to. I don't want to trivialize what it would take for them to actually build the ship for us to tear apart, because I know that these are handcrafted, and that would take a lot of work to make the ship. But from a, a, a workspace or game space uh, perspective, that like I don't like is that I, I don't feel like that us being able to fly to that location would would really cause any problem with the development. Like, if they didn't want to make us a bigger bay, like, literally just let us fly over and salvage that, that's still within within the, the generated world boundaries. I mean, we can't fly over there because they've put, they've put a no-go zone that kills us. But that area is still being processed, and so if they took away that that invisible barrier then I don't think that they'd have to do anything to generate you know that space for us to work in <sighs> now they might have to add some detail to some of the models that we can't normally see behind but they don't have to expand the I don't think they have to expand the uh, the game world I guess is what I'm getting at they still have to make the ship, and that would take a lot of work. But I would happily use this work bay to salvage that ship right where it's at. I can I could aim you know large sections of that to the you know tethering them to the jack, and then come down here and clean all of them up, and then go back and cut more. I I'd, I'd happily do that all day long. Five minutes left, cut it, okay? A little more juice there than I wanted to give it. Salvage deposit accepted. Credits transferred. Should already be in there. That's not moving, which is not a good sign. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. Attached to that back wall. Oh, don't! Why'd I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? I know, I know not to do that. I was thinking about the clearance of it with the, the room and just mentally wasn't processing the, the back side of that. I was solving a different problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're you're right. Salvaging that ship would probably pay off our debt on its own. I mean, it wouldn't because Lynx would add some kind of extra fees to it, like renting, you know, renting that open space outside of your bay. That's just a graphic shard. 
they would they would find ways of charging us an absorbent amount of money while we're doing it. Out of uh, out of bay storage fee. Uh, extra long tethers fee, even though they'd be the same tethers. the other side of that wall so we can free up the rest of this. Salvage accepted. Credit applied. We're going to pre-tether this. Hopefully it won't take the whole ship with it. We're going to go this way because that's in the way. With this Right here's what we're taking our F, I think. Yep, ship preservation fee. For the privilege of us being the one to, to cut it instead of someone else. Probably charge us an extra fee for not using our work bay. Like you know, the work bay, work work bay reservation fee. It's sure we're using the furnace and the and the. Uh, gotta be careful about doing that. That back wall. Okay. Sure, we're using the furnace and the processor, but we wouldn't actually be using the work bay itself. So like that's lost profit time that, that a ship could be here. So they'll charge us for that. Well, it's I was saying, yeah, the external work bay fee. It's uh, I was trying to figure out how they would word it. It's uh, ex it would be something like ship lane rental fee. And there'd be a uh, um, sun blocking, sun blocking from solar panels for fee because we have a park there and it's blocking the sun. Good morning, ship breaker. Links would like to share the following message: the only peas permitted in the salvage yard. So are we would get charged for the electro electricity that doesn't get generated by by the sun. Point being is that we would not get out of debt. <laughs> Links would make sure of it. It would probably average out to the same as doing normal ships, given the amount of uh, shifts it would take for us to complete it. like today things are stopping more we're having to go back and retether things that should already be in their respective locations more so than usual it feels I think we've I, I don't think no I, I don't know that we've got this freed up we're gonna try it anyway let's see if it moves Trying to move. Oh, it's taking the whole thing with it. Get inside. No, I see. 
That's not... Object process. Yeah, not the whole thing. Alright. That's fine. Credits assigned. Oh, we lost the light. Salvage secured. Applying credit. You're not taking anything with you that you shouldn't be. Door console on the top. Nope. It's definitely a broken canister. Raw material processed. Credits deposited. Oh, we forgot to try to shave that other one. I, I, I don't think we could have shaved it anymore. I think that the remaining aluminum was so thin that cutting it would have destroyed it anyway. I don't really how that works. Material accepted. Oh, bad angle. Salvage registered. Transferring credits. Oh, <laughs> we did not have all the doors open we needed to open. That airlock is pressurized. We do still have a power cell, though. In theory, I would expect it to still work. But this is one that has a generator, and I think it's a generator that controls it. Aluminum on barge? Ah. Thank you. What were you? Huh. Not entirely sure what that was part of. Valuable component destroyed. Penalty applied. Panel titanium destroyed. Didn't look like it was very much. Oh, that was a processor. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Took it from the wrong place and sent it to the wrong place. He said aluminum on barge, and I literally didn't look at it. I just grabbed it and sent it to where aluminum goes. <laughs> I was so busy staring at its shape, trying to figure out where it came from, that I didn't even think to look at where it was supposed to go. Salvage That's alright, well, at least I can blame you if, if uh, we don't get our mini-me. Any excuse to take res to to, uh, to not take responsibility for our failures. All right, let's see. I think we just want to get the get the ring away from here. Or let's get it away from the ring because the ring has a cap on the end. Now that we've opened the airlock, we can actually safely cut this. Now, I don't need to get rid of that.
I think we're going to keep the rest of the shell together as one piece. Because I also don't want to cut that cut point to my left. That one right there. I like getting the spin on it. Like they're on a frisbee. Object accepted for processing. Credits deposited. Salvage secured. Account credit applied. This came apart on its own. Okay, that's the thing is still attached. Good. I just couldn't cut the floor out of this. Salvage accepted. Credit. Uh, yeah, I still think the best way to do it. Computers are probably attached to the floor, but that's okay. I'm not sure that was a good cut, though. That corner looks like it probably is still connected. It's not going to make this easy. moved a little bit and I don't want it, that to move. There we go. Yep. Was a bad cut and the reason that's a problem is because i knew i couldn't get to this angle to cut it again computers are in the way i don't want to cut it from the bottom because i can end up cutting through potentially and hitting the computers need to get there to be able to do that oh it's and that thing probably Good grief. That little that little nub down there I think is was... Hey Cutter. Five minutes left in this. I know, five minutes and I right. want this to be our last shift. Um, yeah, maybe the ladder. Cause on, like on some of these, the ladder stopped touching the the bottom. But yeah, it looks like the looks like this one it is touching the bottom. I think that was a good call. Yep. They, they changed the ladders on some of these to where they no longer actually touch the bottom. But you were right. It was definitely a ladder touching the bottom this time. Four minutes, we can do this out of the way. I'll check on that. If it bounces out, it bounces out. Nope, we got it. I like the angle here. I don't want to spend the time to. Deposit confirmed. Applying credit. Oh, I'm gonna have to spend the time because it's wrong. it's rotating in the wrong way. Salvage deposit secured. Credits awarded. 
I knew that was going to pull the whole thing, but it was still faster to do it that way. Salvage secured. Credits deposited. We have one more power cell on the outside. Salvage registered. Transferring. We'll grab it as it's on its way to the furnace. Caution. Oh, out of tethers. Worst time to run out of tethers. Yes, top right, thank you. Top ladder. There are lights in there. I'm not sure if they're attached or not. I'll look for them as it goes. I just need stuff to start moving. Grab on the go. Bottle with it. Salvage deposit registered. Account credited. Salvage deposit confirmed. Applying credit. <laughs> Are we missing anything? Look like it. You please just Ship's almost done, Cutter. One minute left. No! Why? 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 Go! Go! I can influence you. Processing object. Applying credits to account. Material accepted. <sighs> oh, looks like we lost the light. I mean, I know there were the little button lights. That might be what I was talking about. Carbon, thank you. Processor deposit accepted. Credits awarded. Oh, regulator! No, that was an abstract atmospheric regulator. Those are valuable. I don't think they're worth eighty-five thousand dollars to go back for it. Ninety-eight point seven. That and who knows where the regulator is now? Because I was, <laughs> I was ripping it good trying to get it to the barge. <laughs> so it's got a lot of momentum on it at this point. I think we're gonna have to let that one go. Amstrad regulators. Oh, well, they are worth it that much. That's what ninety, what like ninety-seven thousand something like that. Yeah, it's now a bullet. That's correct. But I think one of them is enough for a a, a one shift payoff. Ninety two fifty, right? That's more. Nine eighty five is our our daily. If I can salvage that one, that's on its way. Hello, ship breaker. This is I don't think that I. I don't think I had the trajectory yet to get it to the barge. I was still trying to drag it around the... I don't think it's going to auto-barge itself.
Well, we'll see if we can get it. There it goes! There it goes! Come back! Oh, it's lost. Ah. Warning. Work bay limits are out of bounds. It was it was worth coming back just to see what was gonna happen to it. <laughs> yeah, it really was a bullet. It was it was out of there. I knew I'd put a lot into it when the when the timer ran out. It actually wasn't far off of making it on the barge. It, it was closer to hitting the barge than I would have expected. There was no way we could catch it. I grappled, I grappled and pulled as soon as we saw where it was going, and, and it was still outrunning us. That's one of the, that's one of the things that I would like to have seen them change in this game is that you can't use your grappler while your visor is on. And that drives me nuts all the time. Because you have those small bits that are you can't see them, you know, they're dark against the back or whatever, but you can see them when the visor's on, and so you're trying to target it with your with your grappler, but you can't have the visor on to see where it's at. And I would like to be able to use the grappler while the visor is turned on. It would make things so much nicer. Wow, we're at five hours. We're already past our time. I guess that was our fourth ship. Because we did an atlas. We did an atlas and a gecko. And then a... Uh, maybe cargo mackerel. And then a javelin. Guess that's it. <laughs> All right, uh, we there it is on the wall, the poster. We one of the one of the rarest posters. I think in our our entire previous run uh, on the the previous live stream, I think we just saw two copies of that poster, and that was it. Well, three copies, because I think we found the first one, and then the second time we found it, there was two of them on the same ship. On the same wall, in fact, I think. But uh, it was easily the rarest poster. I'm surprised that we haven't found the non... the, the non-vandalized uh, version of it. So that's another poster we have to keep looking for. And, uh, and I'm, I swear there's another lady poster. Uh, you know, give me, I, give me just, if you guys can give me just a second here. Where are my old live streams? I can quickly see if they're accessible on my hard drive. I've had to back things up all over the different places, but I think that... No, I'm not... Not seeing them there. I'll check one more place if I can spot them. And I might be able to queue one up on the screen real quick. Not then I'll look elsewise. Oh, I'm getting under the wrong directory structure. 
I organize, I organize my, uh, I split my files between the recording stuff and then the finished stuff, right? Because, you know, we, when you're making a video, you have the raw recordings, which are made like in OBS, and then you have the, the edited video that you render out and then upload to YouTube. And so I have one side that's the raw recordings and one side that's the finished renders. And live streams are finished, but they're never rendered. So they're technically, they're still recordings. They're not rendered. I was looking through the rendered stuff. Let's see. Here. That's the current live stuff. I'm usually more organized than this. I'm hoping I did. If I put them on the other computer, we're not... I'm not even going to bother turning it on. Can't find... I can't find my live streams from uh, the original run. I think I have all of them saved somewhere. You know, there was... A time when I didn't have enough hard drive space to actually do my all my YouTubing stuff. And I've since acquired a external drive that I can save all that stuff to. But there was a time where I had to delete my original recordings of things. And I suspect I might have deleted <laughs> many of the live stream ones after I didn't need them anymore. Because they are huge. 70 to 80 gig a piece. Okay, well, uh, fortunately they are up on YouTube, but I'm not going to go fishing through them right now. Uh, I'll find out. I'll take the time and, and look for uh, look for my other stuff. Where is... Oh, now where did I do that? Yeah. Uh... And see if I can spot what the other the other lady poster is and just make sure that I'm not just making that up. <laughs> uh, I'm sure there were two lady posters, but yeah, it's just been so long. Uh, so uh, we're going to call it for tonight. Uh, next week, I'm going to look to do something that isn't hard space. Uh doesn't mean that I won't do hard space, but I'm, I would like to. I would like to see if I can come up with a another uh, satisfactory stream that isn't going to take uh, twelve hours. Uh, just kind of see how I can, you know, maybe maybe do uh, an. Uh, there, there's maintenance things that I need to do in, in my satisfactory world that don't necessarily have to be included in uh, in the regular episodes. And maybe that would be something worth doing on a live stream. You know, like I need to fix some things in, on some train stations, start setting up for another... Uh, another uh, energy sector which is if off the top of my head the the area i think i might do it with it's all the way across the map so it's going to be a long time of running rail and stuff like that and something to kind of chat and do stuff along the way that it wouldn't be included in a uh in an actual episode so that might be something that we can work out you know we'll see we'll see i'm still digging around looking <laughs> Uh, oh, Nicholas, do you have the other? You have, uh, you have the other, the other lady poster. Yeah, I, I knew, I knew there was another lady poster. I haven't checked the wiki. You know, I, I said I, I checked the uh, the forums and just did a, a quick search for you know removed posters or missing posters. 
just to see if anyone commented that any had been taken out after 1.0 and there was no hits on it. So I'm confident they're all in there. Um, Rickster, the, the three posters that you haven't seen, are uh, is that the same for us? Are all three of those posters you haven't seen ones that we don't have? Or do we have any of the posters that you haven't seen? Black and white with a lady with a bow in her hair. Oh, now you've got me. Now I've got to load the wiki. That sounds vaguely familiar, but that's... Uh... Oh, who decided to put buttons on this wiki that are cyan on top of gray? Who thought that was a good idea? All right. Um, posters, posters, posters. The posters. Oh yeah, the 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 with bone hair, right? Yes. That is the other lady poster. I knew there was another one. They... They don't have the Union posters on this one. The Union poster or the un... un uh, Unvandalized poster. So that's two posters that we know are not on this wiki. So this is not a complete list. Which makes me wonder if that's missing anything else. Well, the the uh, the search for posters will continue. Um, I'm not crazy, so that's good. <laughs> that's always positive. Uh, now, whether or not we will continue to look for posters, or if we end up resetting and doing a, a, a fresh run through where we don't do the industrial action and actually work our way out of debt, you know, we those two things aren't necessarily tied to each other. It's something that I want to do at some point. It could literally be any any given run, you know, if we start a discussion and say we're ready to do it, then then we could do it at any time. Uh, I don't, I'm not, re I'm not setting a requirement that we find the posters to, to do that reset. It's kind of when we're ready to do so. But right now I'm, I'm enjoying, we're still working on strategies on high-end ships, like, you know, our recent discovery of the, the alternate version of the javelin heavy cargo and uh, you know and we just you know realized that we had not been hitting uh salvage runners because that's where we found that missing poster so we still have we're still getting value out of being rank 30 and doing the high-end ships so i i don't really feel like we need to reset yet but you know at some point, that's that's something I, I would like to do. Uh, but yeah, uh, we'll see what we're going to do next week. I expect to be streaming next week. Uh, I really want to do a, a satisfactory because, again, uh, you know, for those of you who weren't here at the beginning of the stream, we were talking about it. The satisfactory episode that I released Sunday. Uh, that which covered our mega factory that we built over a couple of live streams 
my usual, because I'm, you know, small time, and, and most of my viewers are hard space viewers, not satisfactory viewers. My usual hard, uh, satisfactory episode hovers in the 150 view range. And the, uh, the one fri uh, Sunday has over 2,500 views. It just exploded and brought in a bunch of new subscribers, which was phenomenal. I still don't know why YouTube decided to show that to people, but I'm glad it did. And uh, I think there would be value in doing a live stream for Satisfactory for those new viewers and see if we can bring some of them into our live stream family. And maybe they'll cross over and watch some of our hard space. Maybe we can get them into this as well. So I think it would be a good idea to do a Satisfactory live stream soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Satisfactory has a lot of optimization that still needs to happen to it. Uh it's it's a pretty well polished, but there's a lot of room for optimization still in it. So yeah, older computers. I mean, my computer is probably six years old at this point, five or six, seven years old at this point. But it's it's actually pretty old. But it's a beast. When I built it, I built it to last. It's it's all the highest end everything I could possibly put into it back when I built it. The uh, i7 3.7 gigahertz 16 gig and it's all name brand ultra overclocked high high end stuff liquid cooled. So it it is getting old but it's brute it's brute forcing its way through new stuff. And uh, my video card could definitely use an upgrade. It's a 1070 Ti or something like that. Uh, it was the it was the high end version of the 1070 when it came out for VR stuff. But by now it's way there's so much that has bypassed it at this point. Yeah, 10 years that's really pushing it for a computer. Uh, obviously, I can't afford right now to to, to upgrade my machine uh, at some point. I, in fact, I, I probably will get away with, when I can, I'll probably just upgrade the video card because the core machine itself is still a beast. Uh, it's still a monster, but uh, the video card would definitely, and, and I see some of that in when I'm doing Satisfactory. I, I definitely see some frame dips that I know that just having a better video card would, would, uh, would resolve. But uh, yeah, no, I understand. It is, it is a game that needs some more optimizations um, but they're they're chugging along at it so uh, hopefully they'll they'll get it to where you can play it because it is a very fun game uh, in the meantime just watch my videos live vicariously through my efforts <laughs> um, and uh, let me know if there's anything else you uh, you guys are interested in you know, I'm always keeping my eye open for, for games that people would enjoy watching uh, that I would also enjoy playing. As mentioned before, I would like to jump on Frostpunk 2 when it comes out. Um, I'm not sure when that is, but uh, that's definitely something down the pipe. But I'm going to let you guys go. Uh, don't forget, I have Twitter. Um, I'm still looking for ways to communicate... Uh, with my subscribers outside of live streams, this is literally the only way we can we can real time communicate uh, because I can't use the forums yet and and YouTube because I don't have a high enough subscriber count for that to be enabled. So Twitter is a way that I can communicate. Uh, I'm still considering maybe doing a Patreon uh, if if I can if I feel like there's enough interest in it, but I don't want to put people I don't want. I don't want to put a paywall in the way of my interacting with just my general subscribers. Uh, even if it's like a low, low entry one, but uh, we'll see. I, I'll keep exploring. I, uh, you know, someone asked if I was going to set up a Discord. Uh, I don't know that I have the. I don't know that I have subscriber count for discount for Discord. <laughs> but uh, thanks a bunch again. 
Nicola, uh, thanks again for sticking around. <laughs> I thought you already went, you did say you were going off to bed. Um, have a great weekend. Uh, see you in the next episode. Don't forget to click like on the way out. And um, everyone have a great night. And uh, I look forward to seeing you guys uh, again in the in the near future.